In this 2,000 point battle report live, we will be having the Ultramarines versus the Adeptus Mechanicus. Hi guys, and welcome to Vanguard Tactics. Like I said, it's going to be a 2,000 point live battle report of the Ultramarines versus the Admech. I am Joe. This is Jake. <laughs> and on the decks today is Steve. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah. Got loads of people in the chat already. Ah. It's going to be an awesome game. As <coughs> I choke, um, as I spend most of my time pushing Steve's buttons, uh, today uh, we're going to let, leave him in charge of pressing buttons. Um, I will be running the Adeptus Mechanicus, and Jake will be running the Ultramarines. And the mission is Overrun. You guys have asked for it. You've got Joe Reaction Cam. <laughs> and it's unseasonably warm in here today. Not that warm. So it'll be Joe's sweaty cat. <laughs> and then there's, mine's going to have to yeah. go down quite a lot <laughs> to compare yeah, and, to the height. And I'm going to be on uh, this side of the table, uh, which means I'm going to be extra close to the, uh, to the camera. Look at this cam. Look at this Look one. Look at that camera Ste movement. Steve has got new te technology to play with, and he's been dying to use it. So I think that's more the reason why he's on the buttons today. Yeah. So, guys. Looking forward to this. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't run the Admech for a while, and and I do love using the Admech because you just sit there and you just shoot stuff, yeah. kill stuff from a distance. It's quite nice, quite entertaining. Got the the Cerberus Raiders, my favourite unit, the Sniper Dogs rolling about the table. So as I said, the mission is overrun. It's a hold two, hold three with six objectives. Have we got a picture of the the table? I can do that now for you, but you've got to remember about the super chat and uh, everything going to Movember for this month. Oh yes, so we have the super chat enabled. So if you want to ask any questions and you want to donate through super chat, all money coming from super chat will be donated to Movember throughout the month of February. We've already raised about two hundred and fifty, I think, two hundred fifty pounds, which is in less than a month we've raised a quarter of what we raised last year. So if we can double that, it'd be huge. Yeah, that'd be absolutely awesome. Yeah, got a really good game for you guys lined up today. So I'm going to bring the mission up, and then we'll go over the terrain. Um, as you can see, we've got an awesome-looking set of terrain here for, um, you know, from, again, massive thank you to Foreground um, for providing all this because it is looking epic in JW Gaming for that matter. Just, oh, city fight. And we've also got for Jazzle. Yep, Look got the that. rocks on the table. Rocks. It's actually quite sparkly, which is quite yeah. weird. It's got a little flex of gold in it. There's something on it mm. that just yeah. adds that extra touch that means so much. We didn't get the weird little cookie crumbs on this time because it is a nightmare because it ends up all over the studio. Yeah. Well, there's some of it glued on here, but it's not free roaming. And were. just look at that beautiful yellow. <laughs> look at that. You can't really see the old trains from that side, but they I are, assure you they are blue. They are <laughs> well camouflaged into this terrain and table. Uh, Ginger Steve has said the level of production quality increased over the last 12 months is incredible, Mr. Box. A big well done, as I'm sure it was an easy thing to learn. No, it wasn't. I haven't watched a single battle report in 12 months, but what I have watched is about a thousand hours of audio and visual, and you wouldn't believe my lead draw. Yeah, I've got leads upon leads. The leads We're, I can see right we, now. We have leads that we order that we don't <laughs> need them by the time they've actually arrived to us because we've figured out it's the wrong one. Yeah. So anyway, let's go over to the mission. That is coming up now. So we have a Dawn of War style deployment. It is six objectives, one in each deployment zone and four in no man's land in each table quarter. Um, and it is a hold two, hold three. So you get five points for holding two objectives. You get an additional five points for holding more, uh, two of the three objectives. Sorry, words have completely escaped me tonight. And then you get an additional five points if you hold more objectives than your opponent. Yep, nice. So if you hold two and your opponent holds one, you get 10 points because you hold you get five points for holding two and you get five points for holding more. 
Yeah, and I'll just talk you through the terrain. We've got, as you can see, the layout here. We've got the center ruin and the, like, imagine like a five-sided dice. You've got the center ruin and also the four corners. They are going to be giving light cover and they are obviously obscuring as they are over five inches. So if you're completely behind the area piece of terrain, you're going to get that obscuring keyword in benefit. If you're in it, then obviously whatever is open is open and you can see through it, including those uh, beautiful windows. And then the red ones, which are kind of the, the four, um, they're basically impassable, aren't they? Yeah. So they're giving obscuring benefit, uh, but you have to be completely behind it to get that obscuring rule. Um, yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much it. You can't move through them. Um, Jake, you've put your infiltrators on them. Uh, uh, they're intercessors. So your eliminators. Oh, yeah, the these, eliminators I'll on delete top of them, these yeah. guys. Okay, yeah. so we're saying you can walk on the top, can you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can walk cool. along the top and stuff. Okay, you just can't yeah. move through the ruin. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's fine. As long as you guys agree, yeah. that is awesome. Yeah, I'm happy for his stuff to go on top because it is a flat surface. And every, anything apart from the, um, the suppressors, the suppressors are the only unit that can actually make to the top of them in one movement. And because they infiltrate, I'm fine for them to start up there. Because they're basically, now they're up there, they're not going anywhere, no. let's be honest. No. So, so their, their role is now predetermined for the rest of the battle. Very nice, guys. So you want to talk us through, Jake, your deployment very quickly. I'll go over to the overhead. Talk right. us through your... No, first of all, quickly give us an overrun of your army. Right. So normally, obviously, Steve uses the Ultramarines, but I'm going to give him a go today. So we've got a single battalion for you, led by Minius Kalgar, who is the Warlord. Um, so he gives me two command points for being my Warlord. Um, I've also got Chief Librarian Tigerius. He's got the powers of Veil of Time, Psychic Fortress, and Null Zone. Then in my third HQ slot, I have a Phobos Lieutenant. He has the Relic, the Seal of Oath, which is I pick a unit before the game starts. That unit I can reroll to hit and wound versus. So I've, as we've said before, I'm going to be picking the Castellan robots. Then I have in my Elite slots, I have a Primaris Ancient. He is upgraded to a, a Company Ancient, thus meaning he gets an extra aura range on his banner. He has got the Relic, the Standard of McCrag for one CP. That's meaning that all Ultramarines within 12 get an extra attack and they also ignore morale, which is really powerful. Another CP has also been spent on him to give him a hero of the chapter wall or trait of rights of war. So everybody on top of that within six of him is also objective secured. And finally, to finish off the characters, I have the noble and humble Chief Apothecary, the Primaris guy. You never leave home without him. He has also been given a hero of the chapter to make him a selfless healer. So he can heal two units and also he can use the combat revival stratagem for free. Nice. Then, in the troops, we'll just go over to them quickly, it's just standard three units of intercessors. You may notice that one of them is a unit of infiltrators, but just due to points changes and we just haven't got the models painted, they will be intercessors for this game. Obviously, as they die, I'm sure, Jay, you'll be all right with me swapping yep. models and stuff around just so it's easier for you guys. Then, in my the way back to the elite slot, I've got the core of the army, the, the sort of staple of them, which is um, three units of aggressors. We're using one unit of five aggressors, one unit of four aggressors and one unit of three. In my fast attack, we have three units of suppressors, uh, two of which I've started in deep strike, one of which I've started on the table, just to give me some tactical options there. And finally, in my heavy supports, I have three units of eliminators. And that right. is 2,000 points of ultramarines. And what secondaries have you taken with this army? So it was a bit of a sort of struggle to sort of decide, but we managed to decide on one in the end. So I've gone with while we stand, we fight which is Minus Kalgar, my unit of five aggressors, and my unit of four. Obviously, used to be a good sort of secondary in this army previous, so we're going to give it another go. We've also gone for engage on all fronts, which again, you know, it's going to be slightly harder to achieve, but it was definitely going to get me the most points out of any of them. Yep. And finally, we've got raise the banners. Due to it being a six objective mission and having a few units I can throw away, and also space marines do have a really useful stratagem that allows one unit to, even while it's doing an action, to be able to still shoot. So that's going to be really useful for me. Very nice. And yeah, so that's that. So in the Admech army, uh, it is a Mars battalion run by Belisarius Cool. We have the Tech Priest Manip Manipulus, uh, who is the, the Lord of Divinations, which gives the models within six inches of him the exploding sixes. So on a roll of six to hit, I generate an extra hit. Um, in the troops, I have got three units of three Catapron Destroyers, a unit of five Skitari Rangers and a unit of eight Skitari Rangers. 
In the fast attack, we have a unit of the nine Cerberus Raiders, and we have two units of five sterilizers. And then in heavy support, I have two Onaga June crawlers and four, four Castlan robots, all with the phosphor. It's a very simple, very basic list. It's quite but, scary. But it has a lot of fire rep. But all of the destroyers have plasma and flamers, and the, um, the two units of sterilizers and the unit of five um, guitar rangers are all in deep strike and strategic reserves. Love it. Beautiful painted oh. army. Yeah, I did all that. The lies. lies. I paint, Steve sprayed them yellow um, because I hate painting yellow. Right, I'm going to mute Joe from now on. Um, anyway, <laughs> we have a super chat from Kenneth Ward, who is one of our Academy students. Me and Jack are drafting our 10,000 page towel document. Um, it's a 9,000 pages of heresy. Um, awesome. I uh, love it. So, uh, that is good fun. Uh, Jack is absolutely crushing it at the moment with the Tau. Um, so I know um, he's working really, really hard with the guys in the academy to help their Tau, which Very is nice. brilliant, you know, improving people's gameplay. So, um, yeah, Kenneth, thank you so much for your donation. As you know, all donations will be going to Movember at the end of this month. Yeah, and if you do Super Chat, we will make it a priority to answer those questions as well. So. Absolutely. It, it rings up in big, bold letters. We cannot crazy. escape it. Yeah, awesome. Okay, right. So let's go over your deployment very quickly. Jake, give us a rundown. Right, so, sort of, here's my hand. So I've got two units of intercessors in here. We've got a unit of intercessors and a unit of suppressors in here. I've um, infiltrated the two units of eliminators here and one just in this little ruin here. And then, sort of, the big castle, as it were, is here. So we've got Minus, Calgar, Banner, Tigerius, um, Lieutenant with the Seal of Oath, Chief Apothecary. Three units, uh, unit of three aggressors, unit of four, unit of five. So, there, so just to remind mind you guys, Calgar here, this unit of five here, and this unit of four here are my while we stand we fight. And then I have two units of suppressors in reserve, which you can't see. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so my deployment, like I said, the unit of five um, rangers are in, uh, in reserve, along with the two units of sterilizers. I have got the unit of Cerberus Raiders here. Three Catafron Destroyers there. Actually, I'm going to go round a bit so, it's, so I can actually point out a little bit better. I've got Onaga June Crawler, Onaga June Crawler. I have got three Destroyers, three Destroyers. The eight-man unit is here of Rangers. Um, Belisar is called Tech Priest Manipulus and the Castellans. And that is my very basic deployment. Yeah, love it. Awesome, guys. <laughs> the studio is just falling apart. Anyway, yep. <laughs> uh, on to the most important thing of the game now, which is who is going first? Right. Joe is on the black dice and Jake is on the red. I wonder if I can and get a close blue. up. Hang on, on the blue dice. I'm going to try and get it on the table this time. Last battle report, I missed the table about, about 12 times. times. So make sure you lean over and, yep. uh, you know, give it a good roll. Go on, Joe. It's a two. It's a strong start. A Jake follows <laughs> up with a strong one. <laughs> <laughs> big scores these days. That's big rolling. Big Let's rolling. start as we mean to go on. So I'm going first. How do you feel about that? I'm quite excited, actually. You're quite excited about I'm, quite, going I'm first. looking forward to killing some aggressors. I want to see what Onaga June Callers can do to aggressors because they're minimum damage four. Oh, yeah, that's not. And that apothecary is going to have to put some work in. <laughs> and how do you feel about going second, Jake? Um, I don't mind it too much because <laughs> I'm about to use a stratagem to redeploy some stuff. Um, mm. But yeah, other than that. Let's just see how it goes, really. Let's hopefully they don't shoot me off turn one. <laughs> I'm so excited. I might actually win a battle report on the, li on the live stream. Right, we're going to head over to the overhead. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so Jake is going to do his... So I'm going to spend two command points okay. to redeploy three units. Love yeah, it. And then I get... And then when the game starts, I get to do my free move with my Cerberus Raiders. Okay. Tis the order. Tis the order of natural things. So if I redeploy these units, they have to go back into my deployment zone. Correct. Yes. So I'll move this unit of aggressors. Just trying to think like line of sight wise. We don't do tactics, mate. Yeah, whilst Jake sorts that out, I didn't mention my secondaries, which will be engage, raise the banners, because I've got three pretty much starting off where we are, and grind them down. Because Jake's got a lot of very small units on that t on the table. Indeed. Sadly. <laughs> right. Just trying to like tuck them in a bit more. 
good bit, of, good bit of tuckage. Yeah. So I've just redeployed them the best I can. So I've moved the eliminators that were from here here. Mm -hmm. They'll just die for free. Um, I've moved one of the unit three aggressors that the robots can see over to here. And I've just tucked in the unit of four, so it's a bit harder to get line of sight on them. So it'll force in the movements and such. Very nice. And if you're wondering why Jake has already got 25 points, and that's because we give the while we stand, we fight at the beginning of the game, and it's jo it's Joe's job to take them off him. Just so we've got, rather than this big swing at the end, you guys can see the up and down, which I absolutely love. So uh, currently Jake is in the lead, and Joe is now <laughs> under some pressure to get that score back. So at the start of the game, it's 25-10. Oh, it makes it more interesting. On to Joe's turn one. Uh, did you say that you've got banners? Okay. So uh, my free move for the Cerberus, they get to advance their free move. It's a big six. Here we go. They are. Let's go over here. I mean, I think technically you should have pre-game moved before Jake redeployed. Yeah. Yeah, but would obviously you move Jake, and if you want to redeploy them, you still can because I think I, that's how I see it happening. I don't any... think there's anywhere I could. Put... Okay, that's fine. I was going to give you that. Because I think when two things happen that are essentially pre-game moving, the person going first should do theirs. I think I think it wouldn't have changed my thought process anyway due to the fact that I need the aggressors on this side because mm -hmm. otherwise you've just got free reign again. I know you've got a sniper on them anyway, but mm -hmm. then you get even more free reign on them, the potential from other stuff. Um, I would have put the aggressors over here because I didn't want them on the firing lane of the robots. Yep. And um, the eliminators would have come away anyway because I didn't. I was just yep. shooting me would shoot them turn one. So, yeah, that, nothing would have changed for me, but it's obviously good to get that get that embedded. All right then. Good luck, Jay. Being faced today. I know. So he moves over there. He is a determined he might man. Might be able to actually shoot that unit. I don't think I've hidden them as well, but yeah. I did what I did the best with what I had. Ooh, what are my canticles this turn? I rolled a two and a three, so I'm going to have re-roll ones in the fight phase and shroud arm, so I count as in cover. Is that including plusing and minusing? That, that so I've added plus one to both of them. Oh, okay, cool. So that the two becomes a three, which gives me re-roll ones in combat. And then the three becomes a four, which is shroud sum. Cool. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, also, uh, Joe, if you could just roll the white dice when you're rolling, that'd be great. They're a little bit loud. Yeah? Yeah, just use the white dice on there, please. All right, then. That'd be awesome. Thank you very much. How is everyone today? Yeah, guys, if you've got any questions for me in the chat, please let me know. I'll answer any of your questions, whether it's 40K related, you want some tactics, some list help, whatever it might be, please do let me know. I think we've all now had a turn on the DJ booth. Everyone loves it. Fun. Loving the DJ booth. Loving the DJ booth. Well, calls back the war is nine, isn't it? Yeah, because is he a warlord? Yeah. Mate, yeah, so yeah, it's nine. I'm not going to lie, this action cam we've got set up is beautiful. Steve loves it, he keeps playing around with it. Oh, it's great. I'm getting some real nice close up as uh, Joe moves. Look at that, that is epic. That is um, some quality production value right there. That's, that's what we want to bring to you guys is awesome production value. Epic camera movement. And great tactics. Vanguard tactics. You've got the name right this time. What did you say? I said, oh. You got the name right oh, this yeah. time. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> so I'm currently on 10 CP, aren't I? Ooh, Look nice. at them, they're all galloping up. Yeah. So I'm going to banners with this unit of destroyers here. Ooh. I'm going to banners with this unit of rangers here. And then I'm going to banners with this unit of destroyers oh, here. Can you only banners with infantry? They are infantry. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, okay. They may have wheels, Yeah. but they are infantry. All right. I just did. I've, I was a bit confused because mm. obviously they don't look like the most conventional infantry unit. No. But it's always good to double check. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this on a Gajun crawler here, which can see that unit of um, aggressors there. So... So you said, so what's the damage on this, sorry? It's so it's D3 plus 3. Well, yeah. it's, D, it's D6 dice. But it's but minimum. The minimum 3. Okay. What about, um, it's just because obviously I've got the strat to give them plus 1 save versus damage 1. So it's like, do I use it now? Because I use it when the unit's targeted. So well, I'm thinking about that. Also, Jake, you need to, at the start of the shooting phase, nominate one unit within 6 inches of the Tigeris to make them minus 1 to hit. Oh. 
that unit. one. Cool. Okay. Um, so, well, it's, it's going to be minimum damage free. Yeah, I won't use it now, but I can yeah. use it obviously when another unit. It's more for the robots, I was thinking about. The same. So it is. D3 shots. It's the big three. Very nice. So I'm hitting you on fours, but I get to re roll because of cool. So two hits. Wounding you on twos. Yep. So I'm toughness five. Toughness five, and it is strength 14, I think. Oh, it's like something, yeah, you're weaning me on two, so. Yeah, uh, both with minus three. Minus three, so. so your sixes. No, yeah, they're, they're yeah. not two up, so. One fail. One pass. And then it is, it's free damage. So I do have a six up, feel no pain from yeah. the apothecary. And I pass one, is that? I'll just, yeah. there we go. So one is on one wound. And then the, so I'll just pop it on the, the stubbers screen. from it will shoot as well. Cool hit. On five, five. so yeah. one wound oh, no. Ooh, goes through six up. Oh no, oh. for kills one, that little stub. So, this is where the strap would have come in under. Yeah, <laughs> how do you feel about that, Joe? <laughs> killing only one, just killing in general. It's quite killing in general. It's, quite good. it's better than some of the games I've had where I didn't kill anything. One, At all. Oh, does he get the oh, four plus he gets to shoot. Mm. Yes, he does. So I will shoot him at this unit here. Oh, yep. So I get six shots from his hands. Yep. D6 from his... You only get to fire one gun. Oh, I'll just shoot his band. hands then, just because it's consistent. Uh, freeze. Rerolling ones. And their toughness, three. Or four. Toughness, four. So four. No, toughness, three. So, so three. two wounds. Two wounds. No minus. One save, one fail. Nice. So he's got... Two wounds left. Oh, three wounds each. Oh, that's yeah, cool. three wounds each. Can I target Karagar from here? I think he's behind the obscuring there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do? Yeah, go for the banner. I'm going to. I'm going to spend two CP for Rathamars. That puts me down to eight. Yeah. I only roll for my strats, isn't it? For my hmm. one, yeah, that's one. And then I'm going to spend a CP to give them plus one to hit, so they're hitting on twos. Oh. I'm tempted. I'm te How many wounds does the apothecary have? He has five because he's Primaris. He's got five. Because what I could do is put one, two, three, four into the banner and five into the, the apothecary. apothecary. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go crazy. You're split firing. I'm split firing. Steve doesn't like split firing. Hell. What an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> so this is where like both of them survive on a few weeks. This, so this, this is what you call brutal commentary. Five into the apothecary. Hit on twos. Oh, but, that's good. I yeah. thought that was an awful roll, <laughs> and I was like, oh no. And I'm wounding you on fours, but sixes are two more wounds in addition. Two more wounds. Guys, if you want to see the list, by the way, just head over oh, to the, the link. Why is it? Oh, do they? Because because of because uh, they do mortal wounds on sixes and then so rack and Mars. So, uh, sorry, guys. Can I quickly say yeah, something? Yeah. Uh, if you want to see the list, check out the blog post. Um, it's in the description below. All the lists are in there to find out all the details that you need. Okay, um, I'm just going to check Jake for you that he is a primaris. Um, he is a primaris apothecary. You are correct. Oh, yeah. And I think Tigerius is start the battle round. I think I misspoke earlier, just so you know. Oh, you have okay. to check the wording. But that's fine. doesn't matter. Double check it. But so I'll do, which ones do you want me to do first? So do, it's eight saves at minus one. Okay. And then you can do all the six up. And I can do all the more yeah. wings separate. So these are the armor saves. So I've failed two. Yeah. And then you take four more wounds. So you have to take six. Six. Six feel no pains. Pains. So I fail all of them. So he dies. Yep. Which is... Not ideal. Um, I'll, I'll roll. I'll roll to see if he does something. He does. Is he got his bolt pistol in range? Because he got an eighteen inch. He's got one of those. Oh, it's the absolver bolt yeah. pistol. So he does. So I'll, I'll just shoot that. Uh, he hits. He doesn't win. Oh no, we roll ones from the left hand. No, he doesn't get that because he's not character. Oh, he's okay. not core even. Well, <laughs> you know, is that, is it, isn't, aren't lieutenants core and character? No, it's just core. For oh, okay. Order. And then it was four at the banner. That's this. See, this is efficient sniper shooting, this is. Sniper dogs. Four hit. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. Fours. Okay. 
Not as many sixes. So there. Joe with the power play. I and know. Joe with the. So it's four saves at minus one. So three, fours. Fours. So all fine. All fine, and then he takes two more wounds. He doesn't get the sixes because the oh, because the apothecary's dead. dead. Yeah, but isn't it? Oh, don't worry. Uh, it was all done simultaneously. It might be done simultaneously. Um, well, the apo you asked um, because you asked Jake to remove the resolve the apothecary actions first. He's no longer on the battlefield okay, when you come fine. to save. So no six up for no pain. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm right. happy for you to do it anyway because because I shoot at the same time. Yeah. So that's oh, fine. Very charitable of you, Jake. Like, he doesn't pass. No, it's all right. They're very good. Um, but the reason I put them there, not just to kill a character, was the fact that it means that you can't banner at the start of your yeah. turn. It just so happened <laughs> that it also worked out yeah. the other way. And then I'm going to do some more split firing. I'm in one of those kind of moods today. So, robots gonna go nuts? <laughs> I'm going to fire two robots at these el eliminators. Well, I mean, it did seem to two pay there. off quite well yeah. then, which <laughs> yeah. I was extremely shocked just by. Just took I'm not my cheap to off carry off. <laughs> That's not very good. <laughs> Straight on reaction cam there. Yeah. <laughs> Cry me a river. Um, Cry me a river. I finally, like, after using Grey Knights for so long, I finally get this chief of cave everyone's going on about, and then he just gets taken off to <laughs> So I know how annoying they are. When, yeah. I was like, I've killed one aggressor, I need to kill the, the yeah, apothecary now. Yeah, because otherwise it's just going um, to... It's good play. So yeah, we are going to shoot. So the first two are going to shoot at this unit. So you're minus one because of the cloaks. The cloaks are making them minus one. Yeah. Okay. The camo cloaks. Do they are they minus one or are they just extra one plus to their cover save? Because this is massive. Please check. Well, I get to reroll hits because of call. Yeah, but obviously you ignore cover with robots, don't you? Mm. So he won't get any bonuses to his cover save. Well, can he? he but my question is to you: Can you actually see them from the height that you're at? Because these guys here, oh yeah, can see I get up an to additional there. one to my save for cover. So these two here, yeah, can see them. Okay, cool, yeah. And then these two can see him up there. Okay, cool. So you get plus one to your cover. Yeah, so I'll get plus two to my cover. So it's oh, not by ignore one. cover. Oh, okay, so there we go yeah. then. <laughs> so I'm hitting you on fours then. Good job, my here, guys, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just blatant cheating. I always get confused so I get with two what extra they did hits. before. <laughs> And I'm wounding on threes. Okay. You might as well roll those. Three. Right, we'll do it. Well, I'll roll my dice right. just for... So it is ten saves at minus two. So that's five ups. So five ups. So two. So they've got two in each one. Yep, so yeah. they're all dead. It's not going well for Jake. Well. Joe with the power move. <laughs> <laughs> the power. <laughs> this is this is several months of having my face smashed <laughs> in by Steve's armies. Just coming out on Jake. <laughs> Look I'm, how I'm, you, you can't even see his happiness through the mask. <laughs> it's just that smile is radiating know, through right. his mask. So now I'm going to kill another unit. Oh. Oh, look at all those sixes. Luckily. Uh, Rizal has said, I can't wait to see these eliminators accomplish anything. Well, I mean, Jake <laughs> did... Jake did deploy them in the open, in line of sight. So unfortunately, I don't think this is the eliminator's fault. I think it's the general's yeah. fault over there. I don't think it's. We well, can look at it after the game. Well, I think I it's think more of if if Jake had gone first, yeah. he could have potentially picked up one of my characters, or through his stuff, could have taken most of a unit of of destroyers off the table with him, because they've got damage too and more yeah. wounds. Uh, wounding on threes. Yeah, I think that's the thing. It's very much like a turn one, like, you get turn one, you took off. Which I didn't expect that, to be fair. <laughs> but, you know, obviously, you know, if, if it was the other way round, it could have been slightly different. So, 12 saves. At my, so, 12 five-ups on those. Joe, could you do me a favour? There's 10 there. When you're just, as you're just shooting, can you move round to the other side and both play that way for me? Okay, okay. So, I just rolled 10 and they both died, any, they died anyway. Okay. So, Oh, we've got Mohawk Miniatures in the chat. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I like I like him. He's got very nicely painted Imperial Knights that I really like. They're like cool hazards. They can't really one. shoot. Um, they're dead. See, I'm done now. I've finished shooting. <laughs> done now. <laughs> done now. Done now. Um, I'm not going to charge. No. <laughs> Although I, I 
could do, I could charge into those intercessors. I'm going to do it. I'm going to. Oh, I can overwatch with these guys. Uh, yeah, I'm going to overwatch with them. Oh, you can't overwatch with everyone, can't you? Yeah. Um, please don't ruffle the microphone. It uh, kills us. Just so you okay, know. Okay. Yeah, be very careful there, Joe. Sorry. Thank you, sir. Sorry, it's my. It's probably. It's, it's, I think it's my chins. Um. Everyone's saying, "Go team, Joe." Go team, Joe. <laughs> Everyone loves Joe. Well, you're over. You're overwatching on sixes with no rerolls, aren't you? I'm going to do it. I'm going to charge that unit of intercessors there. I don't even think there's any point of those watching the um, Those are damaged two. So you so could kill... You two. could potentially kill two. Maybe three. That's Joe maths. And that's... I only have to spend two, two. CP? Because one to overwatch, then one to pick. One CP to Overwatch, yeah, two one. CPs oh. additional, or you they're not you don't have to use them both. You could just spend two CPs to Overwatch with three friendly units within six inches of the target unit that he's declared. So who are you targeting? So I'm only targeting the intercessors. So the suppressors and the eliminators could overwatch if you paid two CP. You'd have to spend three CP for them all to do it. Yeah. I'm thinking two's not too bad, because they get max shots because they're D3. Out of interest, Jake, which unit did you declare as Seal of Oath? Uh, the Broke Box. Cool. Just to give it a go. Because um, they're nine shots. Mm -hmm. They're D3, so that'll be nine as well. And they're strength five. No, minus one damage. Remember, are you in cover? I am. So you, so can, can, go you can set to defend to a hit on fives? Mm. I think I'll spend the two. Just All right, let then. these two fire, because I don't think they could do Do you get your CPs back from Calgar? Well, look, let's have a look. I do not. Have some dice. Oh, thank you. There you go. Right. So I need to actually update the CPs here. So, uh, Joe, you how many CPs are you down to? So I've spent three this turn, so I'm down to seven. Cool. So I went, I went from nine to ten. Yeah. yeah. And Jake? I'm down to eight now. Cool. So... So this is the... Um, Suppressors? Uh, yeah, we'll do them first. So fives, because I'm in defensible. So Ooh. four hits. Wounding on Strength twos. Seven, so twos. So three, and they're minus three, because it's they're heavy. Oh, wow. And we're in the Devastator Doctrine. I will just quickly double check. I it. think they are, yeah, they're it's the same as the Leviathan. They're minus two, it? no, sorry, they're minus one, so minus two. So sixes. Uh, two go through, so that kills one and leaves one on a wound. Nice. And then the eliminators, I'll just do their D3 shots. And because you're over a unit six, they count as flat three. So fives, uh, one hit, Ooh. one wound. Minus nothing. Minus one, because again, devastated option. Goes through. So that kills all. There we go, we picked up two, so that was all right. See, Joe Maps paid off. Joe Maps. And um, can I, with this unit, mm -hmm. I'll give them plus one to hit. To oh, for set defense. Yeah. Well, I rolled a two. Uh, I rolled a three, so it's a good thing that I finished so close. Because that would have been very, very sad. They just say then. So I've set to defend the intercessors to give them plus one to hit in combat. Cool. Which could help. Who knows? Right then. I'm going to spend a command point mm -hmm. to give them plus one to hit in combat. Because otherwise, they're just going to do nothing. Okay, we've got a couple of super chats. So I'm going to uh, take the mic off you two while you're looking at your rules, Joe. Uh, get Dave Conwell said, can't pick sides here. I'm on Team Assassin Creed and Team Volton, <laughs> a.k.a. Team Joe. Uh, so thank you so much, Dave. Remember, all donations go to Movember. So thank you very much to those. If you do have a question that you want me to cover, super chat it in, and I'll make sure I mute these guys and answer your questions. Um, and then we've also got Dijinka... Prime. I'm sorry, I've just butchered that name. Um, thank you for your super chat. He said, hey guys, thanks for the great content. Love to know what your favourite Custode Shield hosts are. So obviously, as the resident Custode player here, um, my favourite one, my perfect Sunday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just for all those uh, hot fuzz uh, uh, references, I'm, I'm going to mute you too. Um, so um, yeah, the Shield host that I really like actually is the one in which you have to take the banner which gives uh, the um, the five plus invulnerable save to all Imperium units. I can't remember the name of it, but it means your obsec units count is more, doesn't it? Count. I think they count is three, three or something. 
It's a special relic. I think it's awesome. Because one of the banners is just you that get quite up in bow anyway. It's a dread host, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go look at the i I'm gonna get the book, yeah. I I've been running Shadow Keepers recently, but I prefer Solar, Solar Watch. Because I really like their warlord trait Sally Forth, because the entire army can just advance and still shoot. So it's constantly moving up the board. Yeah, I think there's some really nice options there. And they've got the best the best relic ever. It's the Guardian Spear that's that's rapid fire free <laughs> and it absolutely tears through people. Yeah. I don't I don't know. Obviously I'm not too experienced with cast days. I think I like the Shadow Keepers. Yeah, Shadow Keepers minus have got, one strength one. Minus one strength yeah. one is amazing. So yeah, this is what nice I like. Name. Okay, you've got the Warlord trait, which is while they're within nine of the Warlord, uh, friendly Imperium unit um, Friendly Imperium units lose, use the Warlord's leadership characteristic. I mean, that's not amazing, but here's the next one. The next part of that Warlord trait gives you add three to range of the Warlord's aura's abilities. And this is called the Emissars of the Imperatus. But the relic is uh, a model with the Vexilla Defensor only. Replace a model with this relic's Custodes Vexilla Defensia ability with the following. The Vexilla Dominatus. Um, while they are within six, which would become nine if you gave them the Warlord trait as well, you can re-roll failed morale tests for friendly in infantry and Imperium and biker units but more importantly whilst their unit is within six of a model with this relic friendly em emissary imperialitas models count as three models for the purposes of determining who controls an objective which now means obviously you've got you know a unit of three because shield guard would basically have you know a count of nine which is yeah. crazy because custodies get the obsec but they often get outnumbered tripling down all of your numbers is huge for that they, that would work well in like an army of just nothing but the two shields. The guys with the um, the storm shields, or the four jawed Sagittarium, just like loads of five man squads with it the comes. heavy bolters. Plus, I love this. Uh, their one CP stratagem when you choose a. Um, Use a stratagem in any phase when in your unit shoots or fights until the end of that phase when resolving the attack made by a model in that unit. Ignore any hit, uh, negative hit rolls. Wound and armor penetration characteristic modifiers and any benefits to saving throws as a result of cover for that attack. That's awesome for one CP. That's mega. That's and that's one that nobody ever takes, but you know, I like to think outside the box. So if it was me, I'd go for MSR and Periatus. Is that the shield haste thing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They're like the main one. So thank you very much for that super chat. We're yeah. back to the game. So I've got the cavalry sabers starting at first. I paid the one CP, so I'm hitting on threes. Rolling ones into your cannibal, yep. isn't it? Yeah. So all hit. I'm, winning, I'm only winning you on fours, though. That's <laughs> fine. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's said. <laughs> uh, so it's six saves at minus one. <laughs> so I don't get covered in combat. You don't get covered no, in combat, so no. Four plus. I fell two. So yeah. one damage. Yeah, one damage each. So one one bites the dust, blessing. Okay. And then my, my, my claw or two feet things. Time. These raiders are putting an absolute value <laughs> yeah, for absolutely you. Not. It's just an just an army of raiders, mate. That's what I want. If I could, if I could, if money grew on trees, yeah, you'd I'd have, have 20, three units of nine of those. Twenty-seven, yeah. Twenty-seven, and I have twenty-seven of the sulfur hounds as well, because those guys are absolute monsters. Okay, mate. When is your birthday? I'll buy you a dog. Not an actual dog. <laughs> <laughs> With a flame of mouth. <laughs> No problem. With a, on, with a blowtorch on his face. I don't think the cats would like Three, them though. <laughs> seven. So seven saves, no minus. So. Freeze. I failed two again, so another one. Oh, absolute lads. Doys. So for all those who are wondering, these um, raiders have already come into the game. Turn one and already picked up that Primaris Apothecary. Turn one, give yep. them the one pump. I should, I should have gone. I should have gone cut off the head. Just picked up Marnie's cowgirl with all mortal wounds. Turn one. It probably would have worked. It would have worked. I would have been well. the only person in humanity to ever get it. Turn one. Yeah, you'd have been crazy. But it would have been amazing. And I would have cried. <laughs> right, pile in here. Yeah. So I get ten attacks because four for the sergeant. Oh no, no, he doesn't have a chainsaw. So three to twos to hit because of the defensible. Yep. So seven hits and threes to wound. Threes to wound. Threes to wound. So that is five saves, please. So five. Four up saves. Oh, oh there we go. Failed four. <laughs> so that kills one. And leaves one on two wounds. 
Nice. So yeah, that's the end of combat. They have got a reasonable leadership of... Oh, crikey, seven. I, I tell <laughs> that's a bit generous. So I'm spending two command points again to auto-pass morale. Really? How many models you got left? Actually, no, I can't, I've got... They're not all good. Oh, no, I've got six. They? Yeah, I'll, I'll roll it. I'll roll it. Crazy fool. To a six, so I fail. So you lose the one on two. Lose wounds. the one that's lost lost a wound. So five dice. So on ones. Oh, they're still there. Okay. And um, I can't fail morale because I'm leadership nine. Yeah. And I only lost two. Because you're an ultramarine. I am an ultramarine. Right. So at the end of that, you scored what, Joe? So I get two points for engage. I don't know about grinding them down yet, but I have killed three units. Three units. It's not, not bad going. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Did you get any banners up? And I got three banners up. So you got two points for engage, yeah? Yeah. Beautiful. Cool. All right, and Jake, you get a CP at the start of your turn. I yeah. do, so I'm on nine. Nine? I got you down to seven. Uh, hang on a minute. No, you play one. Yep, cool. Yep. Carry oh, on. Yeah. Right. Come on, mate. So... So command phase, Calgar's going to put his mass re-rolls on. And the unit of fives there, I don't think they're going to kill that. So he'll put them... Um, Guys, what do you think of our um, new upgraded stream? Do you enjoy it? Do you think the terrain's good? Do you like the cameras, the audio? Let us know. We've been listening to your feedback and doing the very best job we can. So uh, hopefully you guys appreciate it. Let us know. So come on, So I'll give the full rerolls to the aggressors. Yep. Just because I don't know what else. Um, yeah. So that's, that's the command phase. Yep. So into the moving phase. So I'm going to retreat these intercessors here. Oh, great. Because ultramarines can... And, shoot for and then the aggressors well. are going to come over and, and absolutely annihilate them. Kenneth Ward's come in with another <laughs> super chat. Joe has become drunk on power with the two CP penalty. One CP to Stephen for preventing a blunder. I'm on Team Jake now. You've just lost one of your loyal yeah. fans, Joe. I gave my first fan. What? Because I nearly <laughs> spent two CP. <laughs> because you nearly just like, annihilated my army with like... <laughs> Little dogs. Yeah, <laughs> I got, I just got ahead of myself, you know. Um, Jake's got his first fan. Yeah. Sorry, right, I've still got. At least <laughs> Thank you. I might still have Kylo. At least. Oh, yeah, Kylo. He, he moved on a long time ago. Yeah. Wow. He's. It's all about like the Jake hype now. You're old news now, Joe. <laughs> yeah. There's another Jay in town. <laughs> so, right. Um. On that note. Um. I'm gonna move the intercessors. Side. Oh, God. This unit of intercessors will raise the banner there. Unit of aggressors, what are you going to do? You can just shimmy. Shimmy around. Spin some movement. They can stay there, they can stay there. I can put, I'm going to put a banner up with the lieutenant here, so just in case I need to do some shooting with the aggressors. Move these aggressors around just a tiny bit, just making sure they're out of line of sight of that, that they can see, that a few of them can see the dogs just in case. Um, and that, oh, actually I'll just move the lieutenant into the middle. Okay, roll them around. There we go. Uh, right, so that's the end of my moving phase. I've just sort of shimmied everything around a bit. I can't bring any more reserves until turn two, so sort of leaving them off for now. And now we're in. Two. Actually, I'll just pop. There we go. Now we're into the psychic phase. So we're going to start off with Veil of Time. Yeah. Um, take out Targaryus into this unit of aggressors. Oh. So that is off on a seven because it gets plus one, and you can't stop it. And then I will do Psychic Fortress, which is just everyone within six gets a five up in one more save, which again is off. So that was the psychic phase. Very nice. Quite simple. So yeah, so right. shoot him. Okay. We'll start with just this unit here, yeah. and sort of just go around as it were. So, I've so got the intercessors? Oh no, the aggressors. Uh, the intercessors. Okay. So four shot, uh, three guys in rapid fire, four to hit because minus one for retreating and shooting. Yep. Yeah. And then threes to wound, and that's four saves at minus one. Oh, so fours, because I've got uh, shouts. Failed three, so one's dead. Nice. Um, we'll go to the suppressors next where we find out we didn't need. <laughs> yeah. 
need um, the other chaps. Uh, threes to hit with them. And then twos to wound. That is six at minus two because of the Devastator Doctrine. So fives. So one's dead. Two are dead. Two are dead. And then I'll go with the... Just quickly do some measuring. Oh. I can see them. So I'll probably wait. So I'm going to go to the aggressors yep. now. Just because the eliminators maybe they'll shoot the, the catafons. Um, so aggressors. They get six shots each. Going to need some more oh. dicey poos. Thank you. I'll just take this in my little hand. We use the grown-up names for things in here. <laughs> uh, right. And then I get D6 shots for each of their grenade launchers. Ooh. Oh. So there's a six, a two, so an additional ten. Which conveniently, I need two more dice. Thank you. Ooh. So they're all the same stats, so we're just going to roll them all at the same time. So Steve has said... Um, how many attack bikes are too many? I'm building a Blood Angels list around three Redemptive Dreadnoughts, but that's my only shooting. I want some melty... I mean, Steve, you're taking shooting in a Blood Angel. You're already doing it wrong. You need chainsaws. That sounds like a Salamander's army to me. Shh, Joe. I'm the Blood Angel player here. You can't have an opinion. It's not allowed, okay? Wow. Sounds like my every in working the box day you go. I'm muting you too. Um, yeah, so um, to be honest, I think the... Um, yeah, to be honest, with what you've got, three attack bikes is more than enough for what you've got. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really add too much else. Um, it's just enough of a punch, I think. Um, if you're building a Blood Angels list around the three Redemptor Dreadnoughts, you're not really going to need any more than that. Um, but, you know, I would have one or the other and still make sure you've got plenty of points for your Death Company and Sanguinary Guard. Five, ten, fifteen, seventeen minus nothing. Ooh. And I move the building. There we go. So threes. Wow. That's a lot of threes. I failed two. <laughs> Boop. All right. I'm just going to check the charge because I may. I actually want to sort of keep that unit there because. So I will now need, is this the unit that gets to run away when I charge it? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> so, um, I've got to kill it, because um, otherwise it's going to cause me havoc. I don't know what you mean. This is where there could have been an argument if I was just keep you in combat. But we learn, we move. Um, these you can actually fall out of combat with that stratagem as well. Can you? Yeah. Can I see through this? I can't. If you're directly behind it, so, so they won't be able to no, see. No, so they won't be able to see, so it'll just be the eliminators. Yeah. Um, I'm just sort of going to go through any other shooting. Nope. Right. I'm going to shoot with the eliminators. Um, just, I'd probably, if I was you, I'd use the, 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 one the normal shot. shots. They've got, they got, they got, they got like they a got heavy a, two, haven't they? The, no, they've got heavy D3. <laughs> Whereas I was asked, Stephen, I may ask, how is your Ultramarines list different to one that is being used today? This is actually my exact Ultramarines list that I used in my last game. Um, and just to keep things easy, Jake is using it today as we already had the pictures and all the artwork done. So, um, yeah. And again, it's just a really nicely balanced list. So, um, yeah, I really, really like it. Right. I'm going to do the Mortis rounds from the Eliminators into the Dogs yeah. because it does mortal wounds and it has the most chance of really killing them yeah. or at least whittling them down enough. So, twos to hit. Yeah. Four hit. Strength, five. Threes to wound. Threes to wound. So, one mortal wound. Ooh, so, it kills one. A, a two saves at minus three that do two damage. So, sixes. Please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. He's alive with one wound. Oh. Um, and that is all my shooting, I believe. It is. Charge. This is where, obviously, <laughs> I don't think you use the strap, but or you could just to be annoying. This unit will charge these uh, service raiders. I'm going to spend the 2 CP to do it, because <laughs> I want those aggressors stuck in the open. Yeah. 
Because those aggressors are sat right there yeah, in so front of an Honor Gajun crawler. He'd be shot. So. Oh dear. I only so remembered I that strat after and I went goes to them and went, oh, this is a good idea. <laughs> oh, Nelly. I mean, Joe is seriously hemorrhaging CPs right now. I know. We'll get to the point where he's got like none. And then do I even do it? Because there's a chance that he could fail it on a... I'm on... You've declared it now, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> it is fine if you don't. <laughs> he's just going to waddle over there okay. and hope that I roll a one on my... my so you're still in charge. Oh, range. am I in charge range over yeah. there? Oh, so we'll go, with, we'll go yeah. this way. Yeah, there we go. Boom. All um, right, there we go. <laughs> so... How do you feel about that one, Jake? Really sad. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's one of those things where, like, I, I forgot it was a thing, mm. but it, it's one of those, like, really good rules that you can use sort of in your advantage to... My, the idea I had was shoot them enough, conveniently shoot them to a man, charge the unit round here, so then it was blocked by this, so it meant the shooting lane was harder. But obviously, then, once we realised that, we tried to kill it, <laughs> and it didn't work out. But that's okay, we move and we learn. That's what's the most important thing, and it's a good play by Jay to remember that. I've got to roll a leadership test on him. I'll go on. I've, you've killed five, so I need to roll a one or a two. It's a six. six. He's gone. So Yay. he just carries on running into the sunset. <laughs> and that, and that yeah. was the end. And he is gone. <laughs> so scores on the doors then, Jake. Uh, I will score... Joe, do you get grind? I get yes, grind. He definitely gets grind. Yeah. <laughs> Only killed one unit. Um, I don't get anything because I obviously while well, we stand with fights. Yeah, he, you put uh, two banners up. I put two banners up though. Okay. And I don't have engage. You didn't get engaged, cool. Yes. <laughs> so moving into turn two. Turn two. So I'm in the tactical doctrine now, the favourite doctrine. Favorite and Jake, which one are you going to declare as your minus one hit from Tigerius? Um, I'm going to declare. Log. Um, this unit of five aggressors, just because it's the only one in range. Uh, Rosella said, I'm surprised for no infiltrators here. Any reason by not rating them? No, just points. It we had to sh we had to shave 20 points off somewhere. And, um, I mean, we could have actually upgraded all the units to infiltrate because, obviously, Jake sacrificed his apothecary turn one. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't really, it wasn't really sacrifice. a sacrifice. Was right he, was, he was in the best hiding place possible. Um, Unless you move before the game. Yeah. <laughs> characters. Yeah, there's not many units in the game that can pick up a... It's yeah. like a five wound character behind a building turn one. Yeah, because normally the list has infiltrators, like Steve said, but due to the points, we had to um, we had to change some bits around. Uh, Dina said, Stephen is the VTTV included in my monthly for joining the academy. It is. And we are back now filming for VTTV. Yep. We had to unfortunately take a little bit of a month off because of um, COVID. But our first battle report has been edited by me today and it will be uploaded tonight. And I cannot wait to release that battle report as it's epic. Oh, and we've got another battle report coming out very soon, which is Dark Angels versus Harlequins. Um, again, another battle report that's being edited this week. So we're back in full action, guys. Can't wait to get back, you know, putting out some quality content. Very nice. It'd be nice to see it. So the scores on the doors are 15 for Joe and 25 for Jake. As we move <laughs> into Joe's turn two, but he's going to swiftly score three banners. Three banners, and I get 10 points for holding three objectives. Okay, cool. So you're going to score 13, yeah? Mm -hmm. So 15 plus 13 is 28. Mm. So it begins. So begins. So begins. Right then. Do, do, do. What's the move on a, on a Gajun crawler? Quite far. Yeah, that's quite speedy. Speedy boy. Around. I'm loving Joe just setting the tempo here. Jake was like, I'm going to go while we stand, we fight, and you're going to have to come at me. And Joe's like, no problem, I'm coming. <laughs> it was that or Oath, and <laughs> then we sort of discussed it. It was like, what would you like to do? Stand in the middle of the table with the shooting army shoot at you? Or would you like to stand there well, and not die? <laughs> in previous battle reports, I've, I've been too, like, a bit, just like, a bit too, like, dainty with the, on, with the, dainty. With the robot. So they kind of just... Trattle around, not really doing much. But now I'm just like... You've got to move them up. Because I think that whole, like, from 8th to 9th, that yeah. obviously there used to be that unit that stood still, 
double shot or whatever. Whereas now, they, if they move, they don't suffer the penalty, so they can, you know, move. They have a bit more freedom, as it were. Oh, Fulvio has said, "Hey everyone, did anyone already say go team Joe? They they want Joe. Come on Joe. Come on Joe. <laughs> Do it for the people. <laughs> I don't know whether it's they want Joe to win or they just want to see the Ultramarines get a good pump in. This is my first game with them on the stream, but I have used them." Or a few times. So. Um, Dean has said, donation for Movember, since I missed the live masterclass. Cheers for all you gents are doing. Dean, I really hope you enjoyed the masterclass. You can get it on repeat. Um, it will be edited up this week and out to everybody and also on the Academy. If you're on the trial for the VT Academy, if you came through the masterclass, it was a two-hour seminar that I did. So, um, yeah, we covered loads of different aspects. So if you haven't signed up for it, go and sign up for it. I think the link is still valid on the website. Uh, but it's two hours, uh, me going through the five pillars to become a good 40k player. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed it, actually. Um, I think there's like 48 slides I had to write and produce for it, but it was epic. Um, yeah, loads of on-table tactical analysis as well. Really, really good. I, I absolutely loved doing it. Uh, Paul Cresta has said, other question, if I try and create the same list, the points cost is 220 because of the 20 points for the chapter ancient. We'll look into that um, just to make sure there's not any... Um, amendments but hey if Jake's 20 points up for this game <laughs> he's managed to get away with it well, I didn't make the list <laughs> no yeah. I don't I think I don't even know what a chapter ancient does if I'm completely honest so the chapter ancient um, it might just be how it's wit written yeah. depending on whether we use um, what it sort of device yeah we will look at that and just amend it as the main needed. things he definitely has which we paid CP for is rights of war and Banner and McCrag. So the chapter ancient, you can nominate a unit yes. within his aura range of six to give them plus one to hit. So if you haven't been doing that, then technically we haven't been using it anyway. Oh, cool. I just won't do it. I didn't use it before, so we won't do it anymore. It might just be a typo. Obviously, Jake wasn't aware of it, so it's not like he's been t intending to use it anyway. So just <laughs> keep him a normal ancient, just give him the upgrades. Yeah, we'll do, yeah I, I didn't use the bonus turn one, so we yeah. just won't use it. But the all. relic and things like that, yeah. Yeah, because we've paid for the relic through command points. Yeah, and you haven't took Steadfast Example and all the pendants and have you, know, so it's all good. <laughs> when Steve looks at me and the base goes blank, that probably means I haven't taken it. I just know them by what they do a lot of the time. I need to go back to the name. 28-25 to Joe. He's in, He's making the power move. The Rangers are coming on. <laughs> yeah. The five Rangers have entered the table. It's a bold move. This is the hero unit. Have they? Are they coming on for a cheeky engage in that quarter? They are coming on for a cheeky engage. And then, oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> there they are. Are they in reroll range of the Kalgar? Pa the Power they Rangers sneaking on from the table edge. They have there. four rerolls from Chapter Master. Whatever, Trevor. What's their <laughs> eighteen? <laughs> eighteen yeah, inches. Eight. But obviously. Specs fan has to be 12, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So. What, am I, what am I worried about? I will quickly double check that. I think it is 12. It's 12, yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what weapon. It's not like the other, um, the Space Wolf one. Look at look at the power gamer right there. The cheese mongerer. Look at him. Look I at just, his face behind the mask. I've just been painting models this week. That's my, that's my deal. I've been doing what Jay's been doing. <laughs> I don't think dipping models in paint counts. Yeah, hey, uh, some of them I've spent a lot of time on. <laughs> Lots of highlighting and learning new techniques and definitely not dipping paint. <laughs> I mean, I think there's someone in the chat you could probably watch his stream, old Mohawk Miniatures. I do, anyway. I, th I think he knows a thing or two about painting. I do, anyway. I really like his Imperial Knight Army. It's really cool. All right, so I'm nine inches away. And I used them um, as... Uh, we did a technique about gun like purpling and I actually followed that and it was really helpful so thank you so shooting phase I don't get one of those fancy magic phases like you do um hang on do I want to all specs because I could all specs camera them oh no I can't don't worry back, oh, to, yeah. back to normality so Mr. Honor Gajun Crawler versus these guys here yeah two shots are you playing transhuman or anything you win me on twos, don't you? They're not going to do anything. They're not they're just shooting them. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay um, one CP for transhuman physiology, please. Cool. Do I get to the command point? Is that the unit that's minus one to hit as well? Yes. Or not? Okay, cool. So you're minus one to hit minus and transhuman. So, fours. 
One hit. Very good. Four to wound. That's a wound. Oh. Minus three. I fail it because they yeah. are free up save. It's three damage, so it kills them. One, try, oh, doesn't really matter. What powers did you cast, Jake, in your turn? Uh, I cast Veil of Time on the aggressors, and I cast um, Psychic Fortress. But cool. they're not in range of Psychic Fortress. That's a shame. Yeah, they like that much. <laughs> then, <laughs> my three dis Catherine Destroyers over there are going to shoot your Eradicators, er Eliminators. Eliminators. So it's 3d6 shots. They don't ignore cover. I don't believe they do. Cool. It's just to make sure, because obviously I get... They're minus three. three. Cool, that's fine. So I get plus T, so he's only minus one. I hit on fours. I'm wounding on threes, though. Uh, three wounds at minus three. And they're one I damage. should have overcharged them. Okay. Yeah, they're one, they're one damage. Uh, fail T, so one dies. That answered that question, then. I'm just going to put all five of them into the remaining two guys. So it's 4d6. Flame of shots. 10, 18 hits. Wow. That's strong. Barbecue. Take a bow with that roll. <laughs> right. And I'm wounding you on fours. Any strength four? They're only strength four, oh. but they're minus one and they ignore cover. Strong. Strong. That's three, six, seven, eight at minus one. So four plus. plus. Oh, I fail <laughs> nearly all of them. So they are dead. The bird men do it again. The, the, what the sterilizers. They called? Yeah. They're called sterilizers, but Beardnet. when it's in a Joe army, they're bird men. It's a staple of a Joe army. He's calling everything. His birdmen. Bird uh, so only three of the Castellans can shoot at this unit because one is just behind cover enough. Hang on. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. I have exact amount of dice for three Castellan robots. In on fours. On this unit. On that unit. I'll spend one CP plus one armor save because you're a damage one. I am damage one. So I'll do that. Um, I'll just quickly roll to see if I get it back. I do. So a CP spent. So they now have because you're minus one ignore cover. Minus two. Minus two ignore cover. So yeah. that would normally put me on a five up. So now I'm that's down to four plus. Right. I'm hitting on fours. One, two, seven. Can I have two dice, please? Of course. There you go. Something you could do with an apothecary, really, Jake, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I, 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 saw, I was like, I've got my chance. He's going. Crazy. Craziness. Because I knew they pre-game move. I knew they shot characters. But I just didn't know that that would happen. <laughs> That's why I put them all in the safest place possible on the table here. I tell you, Rafa Mars is probably... The, is most efficient when it's on those yeah those Cerberus like Raiders. The two mortal wounds versus this character is crazy uh, good. Carla said you didn't want to roll on the hit one, but I think because it's a flamer, it automatically hits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody said in the chat you didn't want to roll on that one, but it's because it's a flamer. Oh, it's the flamer. So the um, yeah. So these the uh, sterilizers have got flamers. So yes. you, you Aut have to automatically hit. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So that many saves at minus two. So three, six. Just use those dice. Yeah, just use those dice. So four plus. One. Wow. One's on one wing. It's a good roll. That was a strong roll. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's for that cheaper yeah. popper carry. And then. <laughs> And then on a good June crawler is going to shoot him in the face. Oh. Oh, yeah. So he gets two shots, hitting on threes. Yes. I get to re roll. He gets an extra shot from the 
Of course he does. Manipulus. <laughs> um, so that's three wounds. Minus. Minus three. So six ups, because I don't get the plus one save, because it's not damage yeah. one. So be... No, he's dead. Yeah. Poor little hero. Into the ether he goes. So how many aggressors have you lost so far? What, in total, or just from that unit? In total. Uh, I've lost five. Wow. Five aggressors down. Yeah. Uh, seven left. Mm. Strong. Hopefully. <laughs> Those... Those rangers can't actually see anything from where they are. And everything uh, that they can Yeah, they can see. shoot through the window. We said that the windows oh, okay. are open. Yeah, well, I'll shoot over here then. Sure. I get... I'm in rapid fire range. Sixes are important for them. So sixes is get more? a minus one. I know one does two damage, the other's minus one. I didn't want you to forget that. Oh, these, boy, these boys are on fire. Everything's on fire. <laughs> It's all on fire. <laughs> so it's two saves at minus one, two saves at no minus. So these are the two free pluses because of cover. Yeah. So minus one. Yeah. Fast. Two two pluses, both fine. So all good. Oh, there we go. Are they touching the wall? Just because obviously yeah. if I charge them, yeah. Um, so shooting phase done. Charge phase. Sterilizers are going into those Ooh. intercessors. It's um, obvious. So it's, yeah. a, it's a nine inch charge. Um. I'm going to do that thing again, the strap, yeah. because they will be in shooting range. They're within six of them. Yeah, I think, I don't know if that one will be able to see. It's more for them. Oh, it's for them. For them. For them, yeah. So I'll spend TCP. Oop. It allows two units to fight Overwatch. So is, this, is this you getting full Chapter Master rerolls as well? Uh, only on the aggressors, yeah, yes. but only one of them can see. Spicy. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, because the other one's right behind. The one right. shooting through. Unless it's that window into oh. that window. I'll come have a look. Yeah. Oh, he's coming this for way? the top down. Oh, which way? Oh. It's like, so that one's here, and there's the window there, window there, there. So it's sort of, sort of your, your call. Yeah, you can see. You can see his way. You can see his way. Oh, yeah, you can. There you go. Right. TO adjudicated. He can see. Right. I'll start with um, the aggressors. Hang on a minute. <laughs> and then these are the... Um, <laughs> I love Joe reaction cam. Look at those eyes. He has... It, it, people don't realise how, like, Dead emotional inside. his face is when, it, when certain things happen. <laughs> like, when he eye rolls, it's the, the single greatest thing I've seen yeah. on the camera. Right. Um, so these are the random shots from the grenades. So, eight additional shots. So that will give me 20 shots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's it. So, five, six is to hit, re-rolling. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh. <laughs> so four hits. <laughs> four hits. <laughs> and then uh, toughness. Toughness three. So freeze to wound, so four wounds at minus one because of Ooh. the tactical doctrine. So four up saves because I've got a shroud arm on. I failed two, so one is dead. And then, here we go, auto cannon time. So fives because of defense tool. Well, I'm, not really I'm, not <laughs> I'm not charging you though, am I? But that's what we did last time. Oh, right, yeah, so. right. So six hits from Overwatch, mm -hmm. twos to wound. Six wounds, minus one, though, because I'm not in the Devastated Doctrine anymore. Fours. Oh. And they're all dead. And they're all dead. Brilliant. That was cool. <laughs> How many are dead? All of them. Ooh. All the birdmen yeah. are dead. <laughs> Suppressing. <laughs> the suppressors absolutely <laughs> tore Just them to shreds. Well, That's annoying, because it means I lose a point off engage now. Yeah. Shouldn't have charged then, should you? Charged. Right. Um, yeah, it's the end of my turn then. Charging yeah. ultramarines is normally not advisable. No, I did because oh, I only thought one of the aggressors were going to get. To be honest, it wasn't the aggressors that did it. It was, it was the suppressors. Them, yeah. Being in that cover really helps. Yeah. So, what are you going to score then, Joe, at the end of your turn? So I get two points for engage. Nice. Uh, how many units have I killed this turn? You actually, you killed the Eliminators and the Aggressors, so two. two. But obviously I've killed... One. 
one, so I just need to kill another and do some more. Yeah, they're gonna, they ought to pass their leadership, basically. Yeah. Cool. Um, so at the start of my turn, I'll gain a command point, taking me up to seven. Mm -hmm. Not in range for chapter master. So I'll put chapter master rerolls on the five aggressors here. So they're not in range. Yes. Yeah. Um, Tigerius is minus one. will go on them as well. Just again, mm -hmm. sort of simplicity's sake. I'm going to score two points for banners because obviously I've yeah. got the two up there. And then we go into the movement phase. Move away. So I'm going to move. Oh, and I get 10 points at the start of the battle round as well for the primary objective. So that will give me a total of 12 on the, to the start of my turn. So you're going up to 37, mate. Strong. <laughs> again. Um, Joe, could you take a step to the left? You're in my camera shot. Oh, thanks. I just had your girthy arm in the shot it there. It is girthy. So obviously, because it's the tactical doctrine now, the ultramarines activate their super doctrine. So that means that I count as remaining stationary mm. for the purposes of basically weapons, which is really good for obviously the suppressors, um, because it means they can move and fire their heavy weapons with no penalty. Little aggressors. I'm just gonna run to this side. I will probably I will advance them as well, just because I don't want them to be seen by the honor group again. Six. So just popping them on that objective there. Why are you just getting behind that building? Well, this one. Yeah. It's, remember, it's obscuring if you're behind it. Oh, right there. Well, it is. I would have got the move because I got a six. Yeah, exactly. You got a, you got an eleven inch move. The only thing is, if obviously uh, Joe from that point moves, is you want to measure those robots because how far do they move, uh, Joe? Oh, do they inches. move eight. Eight, yeah. Well, they move eight. So oh. if they yeah, move, they are speedy boys. So you need just need to check if he moves eight. Does he absolutely pummel you, Jake? Because that's what you need to so consider yourself with. Eight were taken there, so two of them. Well, then they would all be able to see. Well, that one. Going to VT Ben Jones is in the chat. Welcome, Ben. I can just put them in the terrain just for the plus one, to be honest. But they're my while we stand, we fight, so I could just bring them back behind here. Hmm. Remember, if you're completely behind the building, then you're going to get the obscuring and you won't be able to see you at all. But you just can't sit on the objective. Yeah. I'm tempted just to bring them actually back here because they're one of my while we stand, we fight, so they die. It's not good. Hmm. So they were here. I rolled a six on my run. So an 11 would actually take them both back to here. Yep. So does that mean that on the... C could, I don't think you'll be able to see. Can you just quickly double check because that will be... Obviously you, can, obviously you can move. Could yeah. you, you need to ask him, yeah. can he move and still see yeah, him? Can you move and still see him? Oh, that's a yeah. question, isn't it? That's, that's Remember, the furthest I can go back. Important questioning is really crucial when it comes to sportsmanship and fair play because Joe didn't actually I do anything incorrectly there because Jake didn't actually ask him to say... He wouldn't be able to see. Where he wouldn't. Face. He wouldn't. Okay, no. cool. Right, so I will keep them there because I don't want them to... <laughs> I'm tempted to keep these behind here as well just to just shimmy them around slightly just so all the, all the angles are a bit better just through the deep strikes. Yeah, they're going to stay there hold that objective and they will put the banner up here finally getting that banner up yeah <laughs> strong because i really that's the reason why i charged with the um the sterilizers because if i could have got into those intercessors it again. prevent the banner prevent the banner again for another turn right. there's some tactics there mate um, it, they rarely pop up in my brain but when they do spicy I'm spicy spicy got deep strike time now um, can you all spec scan me? Is there any I chance? Can. Like you can. Who with? 12 inches with an infantry model. Yeah. Anyone? Mm. Infantry, yeah. Don't forget you've got those there as well. Yeah, no, I know that. Not. So Mohawk Miniatures has said, Vanguard Tactics, how do you tend to play the buildings for this as far as the windows and go? So I've had a couple of games with the set. I won at the beachhead and used them like a magic box. Uh, yeah, so... 
we're saying in this one that those big massive ones, the completely squared off ones, they are impassable. Uh, whether we do that again in the future, we'll find out. Like If we feel like the terrain was biased in one way, we'll let you know this is the first time we're using this set, actually. Um, so if we feel like the terrain rules are you know, impeding somebody, then we'll let you know. Uh, but at the moment, it's just kind of impassable um, you know, ruins, essentially. Right. But for the other windows, they are what they are. Okay. Personally, I think for infantry armies, like that can't go inside the building. I don't think it's a massive takeaway. And like assault armies can still go straight through it. Like like your Harlequins or your Blood Angel or Jump Packs, they're gonna be able to go up and over without by ignoring that vertical distance. So they're not gonna have to worry too much. And if you're an infantry model, you can just charge round. Yeah, they're not that wide, are they? No. They're only about five inches wide, so it's not too bad. So can I just confirm that? There's I, seven, six inches across, eight inches long. Can I just confirm? So if I put them there, I'm outside 12, but it's also for engage as well. You're outside of 12 and there. I don't think. So You're inside 12 there. Remember, he still needs line of sight, and you've got a massive wall blocking him. So. Oh, oh, right, okay. Um, but don't forget, I, I want it for engage. 22. So I need to be this You need side. to be here. No, no I need to be that side because I've got engaged there. Oh. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, you can be. Yeah. So, if I put. The whole unit has to be in, so I don't think I'm going to get it. I've got an idea. <laughs> so, I want to see if it works out. Um, I can always just pop T units down, but. Again, put them on there. Oh, Jacob, you get a CP at the start of the turn. You got back to uh, back up to eight. Yeah. There. So that. So that's in for engage. Mm. Obviously, you can just use this try and shoot me. Yeah. I can. Yeah. I can shoot you, but from there, yeah. only two would be able to shoot you. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. But if I overcharge, then. Yeah, they're dead. So. I'll leave them off the table for now. Because obviously I could try and shoot them off, so we'll we'll leave it for now. But I just wanted to measure it. Right, done that. Time to time to do psychic. So we'll just do psychic fortress from Tigerius. Yep. Which is off. Yep. On an eight, and I'll do veil of time on the aggressors as well, just in case. It's off as well. Nice. Right. On to the shooting phase now. So I'll start with the suppressors here. They will shoot into those. Okay. Um. So, freeze to hit because they ignore the movement penalty for the Super Doctrine. Yep. Oh, look at that. All hit. Tasty. Remember, remember, you can spend one CP for rerolls on any unit of ones if they're infantry in the future, obviously. Just yeah, bear that in cool. mind. Cool. Oh. And if they're, an, if they're a troop unit, they, they re -roll, full rerolls for one CP. I had that one in my mind. I just couldn't remember how it worked. Right. Then the freeze. Freeze. Ooh. Not as good, but five at minus one. Into the so again, four up saves. I passed them all. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. Steve, Steve was Steve. So, so shocked by that, he punched his desk. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, that makes up for an entire dead unit of, of sterilizers. I'm going to try something. So I'm going to throw a grenade with this guy into them. You're a monster. <laughs> Actually, just see if you can, and then just shoot the rest of them. So three guys, because that one can't see, and that you there. Oh, it's only because I've got an idea. You will be wounding them on fives, though. That's fine. That's fine. It's just to put the guns somewhere. <laughs> so, right, freeze. And their toughness four. The, the track people. Their toughness five. So five. Five, five. So two wounds minus one in uh, minus two. Sorry, into them because of the magical doctrine. So they get a three up save, so that goes to fives. Pass one, fail one, so one's got two wounds. And I'll throw a grenade into them, so D6, the frag grenade. One shot. One hit, one wound, no minus. <laughs> oh, it dies. There we go. <laughs> so you killed one over here. So I'll take away the closest one. So now I'm going to charge. So shooting phase done, it was pretty yep. swift. So this unit is going to charge them. Okay. 
I'm going to set to defend. Say 12. It's probably 12. Still alive. <laughs> just, just, say. Remember, it's a ruin. You can just move around it. Yeah, so it's just more so I can pop that one there. Oh, I see what's going on here. Straight up the rear. And then the rest can just sort of... Yeah, get behind there. So the reason for doing that is because that gives me engaging all fronts. So I wanted to. Well, I wanted to, That's why I wanted to deep strike something over there to get free Wait, on it. Well, you feel the fall when they all die in combat <laughs> to a unit of rangers. What I'll do, just so, because I, I do want them to die as well. So you may as well just get that. What's that last man doing in there? Oh, I thought it was. There we go. You can just because you want him touching They're cover, all, so you get a cover save. All in there. There we go. So I still get to fly. Very nice. Mm. Right. So four. So you freeze to hit. That was Go team. Go <laughs> team. Go ultramarine team. How are you feeling, Joe? Uh, currently, quite good. He's only <laughs> wounded me three, three times. Three times, <laughs> no mind. <laughs> These intercessors are gonna, all going to die in combat now. <laughs> I tell you. Well, two Skatari Rangers have just died. So that leaves me with... With two. <clears throat> Quick, get the wrap on. Oh. Yeah. So can, then, can you get the wrap? Well, I can't because literally engage is there. <laughs> That's a shame, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. so I get three attacks back. But what it does mean is they can't run. So they can't run onto another objective. No. So that's also important. But if I auto pass my morale, it means I still get grind them down this turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very sad. Oh. I'll get three roll ones. One hit. No ways. Well, that's right then. <laughs> yeah. So you've right. killed two. Killed two. So I'm leadership. No, you've killed three. Yes. And I'm leadership seven. So you'll fail on a five six. How many did you kill in your turn? Units? I two? killed two. And I've only killed one. He's only killed one. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to spend the two CP to auto pass. It's not worth the risk. Because yeah. I, I could fail. On a 50-50 so chance I fail, and then it's a 1 in 3 chance that the other one runs away. As we always say, you want to swap your VPs, your VPs CPs for VPs. VPs. No swapping your VPs for anything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't swap those out for So, I don't need any leadership, luckily. <laughs> so, uh, at the end of my go, I'll just get two points for engage on that. Okay. But I get that you get three, three for grinding grind down. down. Oh, Joe, you are a, you're a big man. <laughs> Right, you can say beautiful, <laughs> beautiful <laughs> beast creature. Right, and yeah, that's the end of my turn. I'm afraid. No, that that strap for shooting. I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought it was what? the Marines added that deep strike twelve inch shoot one. Oh no, mate. No, <laughs> Marines aren't the only special ones. That is well good. I do like it. Though. It's very good. Right, over to you. So turn three. So I'll stay in the tactical doctrine. Yes. Shock. <laughs> oh, I get ten points for holding. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. I get three banners. Banner. Banners. And then, yeah. Moving stuff. Cool. We're going to leave combat from you, nutters. Because we do not want to die. Hey. See, we're probably going to go. We're going to go over here so they get engaged. Nicey, nice. They did not do the, the job. They I did not do. do the job. Though. You've got four CPs, Joe. I've got four CPs? Hey, yes. I'll be swapping those for the VPs. As it is said. 46 to Joe, playing Jake at 39 as we head into the start of round three. Not as bad as I thought then. But obviously that's my one on the stand. He's playing a cagey game. Go within 12, I'll shoot you. No, I'm not. So cagey. Guys, let me know who do you think is going to win. Is it going to be Joe in the yellow team or is it going to be Jake in the blue team? Who's going to win? Place your bets. Can the Admech beat the Marines? And let me know who you think is going to win and then say who do you want to win. Yeah, there's a difference. There we go. <laughs> who are you supporting? Let us know.
but you need to say in the chat, I'm supporting Jake or I'm supporting Joe. Let us know. And remember, if you do like the video and our streams, please give this a like. That would mean the world to us. It really would. It helps more people see the streams. It helps us raise more money for charity. And it just means that we can share our passion for the game for with more and more people. Again, we're all about playing the game in the right way and, you know, giving you that competitive but also sporting outlook on the game, yeah? They're nearly at 20k subs as well. Oh, oh we're that. so close yeah. to 20k subs Well yeah. close, so come on. We're people. knocking on that door. <laughs> right, so. So. It's <laughs> some very... <laughs> I've completely rushed ahead, by the way. That's I, fine. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. Um, no, no, no problem there, my so friend. I'm nine inches away from this intercessor squad. Right. Twelve inches away from them so they and them, so they can't shoot me. Very good. I'm nine in range there. So and you're only going to be able to shoot this unit? Yeah, and I'm within this table quarter. So you've got to engage. Mm. And you're not within six of the centre. No. They're all good. So have you brought your reinforcements on, yeah. Joe? Yeah, you... Before he's moved. Oh, oh wow. wow. I did just say it's fine, but... In the future, you have to do it at the end. <laughs> wow. He's getting ahead of himself, all gung ho Joe here. <laughs> wow, look at that. Those, all those victory points have gone to his head and he's drunk. He's drunk on victory. <laughs> he's a madman, he's a madman. He can't be stopped. Bless him. You kept a unit in deep, out of Deep Strike. I've got two yeah. units in Deep Strike still. I didn't bring them on after finding out the revelation. That's right, I'll stop him next week. Well, now I think I should have played the Grey Knights, but I wanted to give someone, the people something different to look at. We haven't had the Ultramarines since the first battle report we did, so I thought that would be quite fun. But I think I, think I personally, I do like the Grey Knights. They are really fun, and they're really good. And they can teleport. And they're all wizards. Or psychers. Which is just really good. Some strange unit coherency, mate. That's unit. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a unit. Of, <laughs> it's a big unit, isn't it? <laughs> Coming at me with your... Your rules. <laughs> I'm so used to running custodes, my tiny unit. <laughs> yeah. oh. Even when you run your Drukari. Which camera are we on? Top down? So yeah. I'm about to walk in front of all your fancy ones. Oh, oh I'll put it to top down. Anyway. Top cam. You're on action cam. Action cam. They all have fun, fancy names. Oh, I have to punch. Punch, punch. Do they have an invol? Yeah, four up. Okay. No, they don't get in combat, do they? Only in shooting. Oh, right, okay. Is there any bonuses they get if they use their invol? Oh, yeah, if you shoot me. Yeah. Um, but I've got a two up saves. So there's no real point. Me it's in. only if you use the invol, then it's the shots. You do the back. mortal wounds one, yeah. Oh, that's what I want to a song from the Teen Titans stuck in my head and it won't go away. <laughs> That's correct. I am. And the cartoon one. Yeah. Yeah. We love the fair. Teen Titans. <laughs> Both of us. In fact, I to ask what it was. If you in the chat like the Teen Titans, let us know. Yeah. Shout out for Teen Titans fans. <laughs> if you're Team J or you're Team Jake, it doesn't matter. It's Team 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 Teen Titans. I love Steve's reply. He said, my man's telling me Joe, <laughs> but my body, my body's telling me Jake. Oh, I didn't do I my I think that's exactly how he said yeah. it in the comments. That's how, like, sometimes when you put, like, the comments in song lyric, you have to sing. That's the rule. It's iconic for a reason, people. I mean, I've got a beautiful voice. Mm. Yes. Um, it's commentator voice. Perfect. I'm just... I'm going to carry on. I keep rolling threes and fours, or twos and fours. You've done the canticles now as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just... <laughs> Some so things I same, can't it's, forgive. It's the exact same canticles as last time. <laughs> so. Now, I'm just going to bring your attention to Joe's coherency <laughs> on that ranger unit. Mm -hmm. Is it still skew if? It's not skew if. It's legal. <laughs> it's yeah. legal, but... <laughs> oh, I can't see it. That's <laughs> why. It is legal. He's gone for the bone. I've gone for the bone. The, bone. the, the, the zigzag. The bone. Someone said that my unit coherence is off. No. Is it no you? Steve's, being saying. Steve's just being difficult. If you lose one model, you're going to lose another two instantly. But I love it. I love the danger play Joe's gone for. He's what, power drunk. Well, I want to <laughs> basically, I want to keep Jake out of my deployment zone. And if he deep strikes here to get that engage, 
I get to shoot him. Yeah. If he deep strikes over here, I get, get to, to shoot, shoot him. him. And if he deep strikes over there, yeah. I get to shoot him. Ne next turn is a turn of I put both units down and one of them comes off. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, what's your while we stand we fights for the guys? Uh, the two aggressors here, there was originally the unit four, the five aggressors here, and Monius Calgar. Cool. Because, again, the debate between Oath and that, do I want to walk into the middle of the table with a shooting army? Probably not. <laughs> and the middle of the table, guys, is a massive bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Which you can see right through that way. But not mm. on this side, luckily. Yeah. <laughs> so, shooting phase. Shooting. The Onagajun caller is going to shoot At the those intercessors. intercessors. Less so, he gets two shots. Hitting on threes. Both hit. Ooh. Wounding on twos, both wounds, minus three. So cover five up, they fail. So minimum. Minimum three damage, two. yeah. So I'll pop the sergeant's the one with the cool then, wristwatch. Then two, three Catafron destroyers will shoot at them. At them as well? Yeah. Oh, from, yeah, through so them. No, them. So oh, sorry, yeah. I'm getting confused. <laughs> so six, 11, 12, 13, 14 shots. <laughs> not good, plasma. Um, 14. I'm not going to over overcharge. No. Um, That's some good rolling, Jay. That was a hit as well. That was a hit. I've missed three times. Can I re-roll? Yeah, you're just in there. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Bosh. Threes. That many saves at minus three. So five ups again. Oh, <laughs> that's just dead. Um, I actually think that the neutron laser is minus four, you know. Yeah. It is. It is. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, well, he still, well, he ki he still killed two anyway. Yeah. But, Ryan, shooting over here. The Castellan robots, two. We see, can we see those intercessors? There's a hard wall there. But There's a hard wall to... there, but it's a case of, of can they can, can they... one see? I'd say yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say yeah. As you can see that. Yeah, because I can see his gun, which is convenient the thing yeah. he's shooting me with. Do I wrap of Mars it? Or the one guy. The one guy. The one man. <laughs> the lonely man. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to wrap of um, Mars it. Just go for it. So hitting on fours. You think about transhuman. You always think about it. I should have read from Mars, is it? Because I've got rolled one, two, three, well, that's four, only five. Is wild wrath of Mars, Jane. I know, but I've rolled five sixes to hit, yeah. which are exploding. Yeah. There we go. I've only wounded <laughs> a handful of times. Yeah, so the debate transhuman just sort of proved it there. Yeah. <laughs> so four saves at minus two, but you don't get a cover save. So Did you use transhuman? No, I was debating fives. Uh, Two, so, so one dies. One has perished. One has perished. Uh, Steve has asked, where, does anyone know where the train is from? I'm new here. Well, first of all, Steve, welcome to Vanguard Tactics. Okay. And uh, the uh, terrain is from Foreground. They're our sponsor here. Um, so, yeah, check them out. The description is below. So, yeah, they do a, a massive, massive range of terrain, like terrain for days, basically. And it's all pre-painted. So that's a great thing. You just build it and get it straight on the table. <laughs> oh, the has only hit one. He, he kills one because it's minus oh, yeah. one. And then 2d6 shots from those catafrons over there. Do I overcharge them in case I duff it on the d6 shots? I'm going to overcharge him. Oh, risky business. I've got, I've got to do them one at a time. Yeah. So Power the first drunk. one, one okay. shot, good. And the other one gets one, one shot. shot. Good. <laughs> so glad I overcharged. Uh, you need, to, yeah, so now you, yeah, you each, can roll them together. Yeah, I can roll them together. So one's dead, one hits, and the other one doesn't wound. <laughs> there we go then. Wow. It was the drunk on power that they sensed it. Yeah. They went whoop, whoop, whoop. That was awful. Mm, that's annoying. That's inconvenient, isn't it? Oh, I've been killing so efficiently up until then. <laughs> I've been so efficient looking at the camera in Jay's face. See the eye roll? <laughs> it's just, I subdued the demons for a moment. <laughs> um, 
we've got a couple of comments here. Chapter Master Valrix in the chat. Having oh, marines know. that are not painted yellow, that's some sort of heresy. Well, you two can have a fight against each other now in the chat. Because it's, it's now not me telling Steve. Well, his Valrix, <laughs> I've seen on his Instagram, that it's he's started painting black space yeah. marines now. Well, not black yellow. Black Templar. Me and Valrix speak all the time, actually. We're best buds. Ooh. So uh, we It's may all for the camera. It's all for the camera. Fake our, beef. Uh, <laughs> our stream beef is just uh, for the for the entertainment the, of... The dick uh, track is coming out sometime yeah, in June. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, welcome again. And also, Dean has said, what's Jake's decision to go with Tiggy over a vanilla librarian built up with warlord traits and artifacts well because tiggy is immense he's the boss he's actually all right in combat he gives that minus one inbuilt to hit which is incredible which obviously eldar pay two cps a turn to use a stratagem like that and also he gets to re-roll any of his powers which is phenomenal well good it's just he's and he gets a plus one and he gets that plus one he's yeah he's literally an auto include and you don't have to spend all the extra warlord traits he's just you're saving yourself two CPs from the ultimate power of Tigerius. Oh, I think he's yeah. so good. I think in other chapters, like there's a lot. Obviously, if you've got like in Blood Angel as an example, like Mephiston may not be more optimal. But I think Tiggy, like for the exact reasons you just said, there's literally like no reason not to go in. And the reroll powers is, is, is really good. So, and okay. Cool. So where are we at in the game now? Charge phase. The my phase. How many time? How many years have I killed this turn? You have killed one. You killed my unit of intercessors. Mm. <laughs> so I'm probably going to... I'm not going to get grind them down this turn. Hopefully. Because you can pick up those two over there yeah. quite comfortably and you'll pick up this unit here quite comfortably. Hopefully. <laughs> so I can... Oh, Valrek said he's working on his Tau army. Yeah, cool. Go in, go in Tau. It's BT. Go he's gone Tau now. Yeah, BT. Beautiful Tau, I think, he's Ooh. building, yeah. Captain Master Tau, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fish man. Uh, Captain so, Master Tau, Rick. So, go. one of my guys with flamers can see over here, but if I kill one, I've got a 10-inch charge instead of a 9-inch charge. It's um, not good. Because the rest of the unit can't see. But if I can charge over here and kill these three, mm. knocks you down to five points on the primary, and you lose a banner. I will. I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw caution to the wind. Like sheet me or charge me. I'm going to charge you. Okay. Um, risk it. Sorry, it. can you do your caution to the wind again? Caution <laughs> to the <laughs> wind. No, it was a lot more deaverish but the first time you did it. Um, you could spend I'm your two CP. I'm tempted to spend three CP because I also... Want Only one guy can shoot. Oh, from I'll spend two CP just because I want to try and shoot them off. Yeah. Why not? Jake's done more damage in Overwatch than he's done in his <laughs> shooting phases. <laughs> Power moves only today. Oh, God. Right. Oh. Oh, so do I get one of the CP back? I Jake, do. normally there is a phase in the game where you can shoot without spending CPs. Yeah, it, right. is, it is called the shooting phase. You I'm get it every turn. <laughs> yeah. It happens after the psychic <laughs> phase and before the combat phase. Okay. I, I don't know if you're familiar <laughs> with it, but I would start to use it instead of just... <laughs> <laughs> just I, I prefer it this way. <laughs> This is the way. <laughs> I love. I just love being in the chat and just um, yeah commentating. Chat's I think this is great. great. You always when you did our when we played Grey Knights versus Dark Eldar, you you loved it. You always, I enjoyed our, the chat. Yeah. Well, I did it. Every, it's a great it's great fun. You just get to chill. There's no worry. Mm. And so now I'm getting shot off here. I've been thrown out. Uh, me in the chat just like trolling you two. It's great. Oh yeah, it's brilliant. Well, I hope you are happy together. I hope you live a very long life. Roll Come your on, dice. Joe, we're Roll your dice. Sixes. Oh, oh see, if I was in if I was in the terrain, that would really help there. So I need a big nine-inch charge. So just to confirm, I spent two CP, but I rolled a five to get one back, so I only spent one for that. So how many CP have I got? Ten? Five? Because <laughs> oh, I got a CP at the start of the turn, didn't you I? Got like five. How many are you set spending now? You've got four at the moment. Oh, so I'm not spending any CP. Have you spent any this turn? No. Okay, so you've got four at the moment. It's a, it's a no. three. I'm going to spend one to re-roll that. Because you spent the two CP. Yeah, I can. And... Oh, oh, there was a six there. It shied away. <laughs> but that's fine, that's fine. I'm, you, spent, you spent some CP this spent. turn. And I still get my engage. You made me splooge. So I get three points for engage. engage. But I have only killed one unit Ooh. this turn. Because so of my awful rolling on my D6s. So is that the end of your go then, fully? That's the end of my go. So at the start of my turn... Get 10 points for the primary, 
and then three points for banners. So yeah. 13 points at the start of the turn. It's a very close game. Mm. 52 plays 49. Who's on 49? You. Oh. So uh, minor league? Well, yeah. Oh, wow. Because you've got... Oh, well, yeah, I've got While We Stand We Fight. You've got While We Stand We Fight. <laughs> but honestly, Joe, you're playing phenomenally well here. Yeah. I'm really impressed That's how you're playing. massive. Like, was really good. you know, Jake was like, look, I'm going to defend. You're going to have to come at me. And Joe's like, <laughs> I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going to run this ad mech army like how I play Drakari. Oh, Just <laughs> command phase, gain a command point, And I'll put chapter master rerolls on the five man unit of aggressors. And I'll put Tiggy's minus one on the five man unit of aggressors as well. Remember, you play the minus one in Joe's turn. Oh, I play in Joe's turn. Okay. Yeah. Well, at the start of the turn. At yeah. the start of the turn. I believe that's correct. Yeah. No more hiding. Mister. We got a super chat here. Charlie said, Valric. Charlie said, like the um, Prodigy song. Shh. Okay, that, carry on. Shush. That. I'm on a super chat. You need to be quiet now, Joe. You know the rules of super chat. Super Come chat on, dominates. Super chat's everything. Mm. Charlie said, Valric. Will lose to the Ultramarines. Oh, some big chat there, oh, Charlie. <laughs> some big chat, Charlie. I love. Well, thanks for the donation. Now it's all going to Movember. We mm. appreciate it. Valric said, "When I bring Stephen down at no retreat, is going to be a beautiful sight." Oh, oh. no, that is some big chat. There's some. We haven't. Spot. You haven't. We haven't said what armies were taking. We need to do our no retreat video. Maybe we record it straight after this because we only did the audio last time. Yeah. But I will not be taking the Ultramarines to no retreat. In fact, I'm going to let the public Singing. vote what army I take to no retreat. Maybe we'll let the public vote for both of us. Oh, that could be fun. Wow. That's how we roll at VT. Mm. You decide what we play. Yeah. We're going to give you a choice of three armies that we have painted and we know to a competitive standard so we don't have to look at our rules when we're there. Mm. But we're going to give you three options and you choose what we play. That's how we roll. You know? Sausage roll. Yeah. We, we mix it up. All right. Ooh. Mohawk Miniatures has said some quality coaching from me about teaching you how to use the shooting phase, Jake. Yeah. You can get quality advice <laughs> like that with or without sarcasm over on the V. No, sarcasm's always no, in. Sarcasm's included. It's the service. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do the people out of the service. Um, all right. What's going on then, Jake? I fell over He's the table. destroying That's the table. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm doing deep striking. Jake, can you stop trying to bring suppressors into Joe's lines? It's really stressing me out. <laughs> Thing is, Don't forget, there are two little chappies there. Yeah, that's, that's why I measured them first. So that's that one there. So. I think I need to step in at this point. There we go. Step in. And then... I'm going to shoot him. And I pump the other unit first. Can you, does it, is the strat, you have to shoot that unit? I have to shoot it so immediately. So you can't off. split hot fire them. No, so I have to shoot at that. So right. I, I'll do it now. Cool. There's do it two now. CP. So you've got one left. Got one left. Um, going to overcharge it. Caution. Is there gone. any minus to hit? I think you're minus one to hit, aren't you? Not that it'd matter. It'd still be unmodified. I've got four rerolls anyway. Oh, it's more just like, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to overcharge. So, 3d6 shots. 11. 11. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. So I'm hitting you on fives now. And you're overcharging. And I'm overcharging. Wow, I mean, you, so your roll died. was ridiculous. So... There was a one in there. What? There was a one in there. Yeah, but I get to re-roll it. Oh, right, because it's all, yeah. So there's a one in there. There we go. But... <laughs> I hit ten times. You're filthy. <laughs> can filthy they, animal. Can they all see, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, definitely. Cause cool, 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 cool. Winning on twos. <clears throat> three, six, seven, eight saves at minus three. I'm just going to lie. <laughs> no, they're dead. <laughs> but that does mean I've now killed two units this turn. Yeah. that exact same thing. should have just left them there. <laughs> I want to just represent they died. They've, they've literally landed on the corpses of their brothers. <laughs> Hello. Right, okay. So that will get me engaged, so that's fine. 
I literally can't believe you did that, Jake. But I can't. There's, at least from what I saw, I couldn't. There's not much. I'm flabbergasted. I done. Flabbergasted. We're Abs- using odd words today. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> flabbergasted. Why, did, why didn't you go in on the other side? Well, well he's got them over there. Got it means he gets three points for engage yeah. if he does it that way. Mm. Mm. So a stack. Right. Psychic phase. I'm going to Veil of Time <coughs> this unit of aggressors. That's off. Off. Can you overwatch on Veil of Time? No, no. Um, I know they fight first. They fight first, can reroll charge, and I think that's it. But I will just quickly have a look. It doesn't turn off Overwatch. That's cool. But the suppressors, anything they shoot turns off Overwatch. Yeah. I don't think it's... None of his suppressing units can see them. No. They can Overwatch, but it's a risk we have to take. But you, don't, but you don't have enough CP to... I've got one Mars. CP to do it. Um, you got Wrath of Mars and Overwatch. But and then I'll uh, Psychic Fortress. I will re-roll it with Tagiris' ability. That is off. Fantastic. What does that mean, Psychic Fortress? So all units within six have a five plus invulnerable save. So Ooh. that is everything currently next to Tigerius. So Fancy. If they do fail their charge, they've got a five plus invulnerable save. I'd have gone in for a super smite. He can't see, unfortunately. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> Jack's, come, Jack's come in hot with the chat. That's a bold move, Cotton. That I is agree. a bold move. Bold move. Uh, chapter Master Valric has said he already knows my three options. Apparently, the poll is going to be number one, Dark Angels. Number two, Raven Wing. Or number three, <laughs> Death Wing. <laughs> that's that's good from Valric. I like that. That's a really good yeah. commentary. I like but it. You should see my new Talon Master. It's beautiful. It is cool, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it. You're, what are you going to get? <laughs> okay. You guys carry get on. You, you mind your own business. You carry on. Right. Right. What are you um, shooting? These got chaps into them. Big so dogs. The intercessors into the Rangers. Freeze. So I am Ooh. still in the. Uh, tactical doctrine. So wounding on threes. Wilford yeah. and Oh, what oh. is that? Is that one wound? Two wounds. Two wounds. Minus two. Minus two. So I got six up saves. Yeah. If I pass one of these, <laughs> it's gonna be that's saves. a problem for you. Oh, oh it's a six! <laughs> oh yes! Oh no. The guy that's pointing will be left on the table so to point I, and laugh at you. I have to kill him with the suppressor, so the suppressor? Yeah, there, there's a suppressor. The oh, the suppressor see, unit. Yeah. You can't because he's completely behind the other building. I can see him through the window. I oh, know, but it's still, it, it's still okay, obscuring. I can see him with the aggressor then. Yeah. That's fine. Either way, I have to kill if him. If you're in the building, you can see out of it, but oh, you can't see cool, yeah. through it. These chaps will shoot. So oh. the other unit of intercessors will shoot the um, sterilizers. Mm. Five hits. Winning. Strong. Threes. Look at that, guys. Three just wins. marveling the beauty minus of the Talon Master. Two. two. Minus that two. is or just three or beautiful. Three at minus two. Oh, one's died and one's taken. Who away. likes the Talon Master? Look at that. It does look cool. Com- fully magnetised as well. Oh, is he? Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, we're just sort of like going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back to him. He's doing um, that thing from us. <laughs> um, these two will shoot that uh, plasma, plasma man. Yeah, plasma man. Freeze, because I don't suffer the... I've rolled too many shots. Oh, my. <laughs> right. Because I was looking at that unit. Right, freeze, five hits. Freeze, four wounds, minus one. And these do two damage each. Four wounds and minus one is fours. Failed two, so you've killed one. Hooray, so that's one unit. At least. <laughs> um, no, there's one there. Oh. oh. I can see him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a mare. <laughs> um, Jake's fallen to pieces. I just like... I you've, already shot, you've already shot them. Yeah, they yeah. shot them. Like this unit, this one. Oh, are they in range? Yeah, 18. So, six. Scooch along. Come now, scooch, scooch. Scooch <laughs> along. Right, so, down two. And then the grenades... Can you hear on sixes, yeah? <laughs> no, okay. unfortunately not. Uh, there we go, right. These are freeze to hit re rolling ones from Calgar. That is controversial. Right. Uh, these twos, that one as well. A lot of twos in there, isn't there? So, all of these hit. It's not a good day for these boys at the moment. And then freeze. More. Oh, that is four. I, is I'll just roll these dice. Uh, <laughs> minus one, yeah? Minus one. So four up saves. So I'm going to make all of these. Confident, strong. All of the above. 
So one's dead, two were dead, three, they're all dead. Totally, eh? Hang on a minute, we've got a super chat in. Ginger Steve has said, I would love to watch Valric win at no retreat against Joe. Why? <laughs> he's put what? <laughs> <laughs> the anti beef. Hang on, hang on. Then, All he's, right. then he's put an exclamation mark, mm. so he's probably shouted that. And also, I won't shout, he's put Mr. Box is a step too far, mate. Maybe four or five steps too many. Ooh. I'm not sure what that means. Does that mean like, it's like a that, idiot. that's like too far? Like he would never, does Ginger Steve never want to see me win no retreat? Like, is that four <laughs> or five two steps too many hard? No, or, or is he saying that I'm four or five steps ahead who knows? Ginger Steve, you're going to have to clarify because mm. people need to know what you mean by that. You need to know what you're idiot But means. thank you for your super chat. It means a lot. Yeah, yeah. thank you. All the money gates are very, um, very, very useful. Also, Jack has messaged me privately and he said, Jake, you know suppressors of a 48-inch range, yeah? yeah? They're not 12. No, 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 I know. I've been measuring, I was measuring <laughs> 12 so he couldn't shoot me there. <laughs> Jake, Jake just likes some pers- up close and personal. <laughs> yeah. I've got a 48-inch range gun, but I'm going to shoot it at point-blank yeah. range. Well, there's, just, there's not much other options. So you've killed, you've killed a so unit. I've killed a unit. Okay. So now I need to kill those, uh, another unit. <laughs> those aggressors need to get a shift in, really, don't they? It's like suppressors have yeah, got another profile not, flavor weapon. You've got a range of him. Yeah. That's why so I'm you're going to have to. They've all got to shoot it. Either the ones at the back. Yeah. I'm tempted to shoot the ones at the back and then just charge the grey bots. Ooh. They've got re-roll charge. Like they can re-roll to hit. No, they can't. So. They can re-roll to hit because the chat's marked. So three. four, four in range of the back or squad. Or I could just shoot. Or these can shoot the the big cap, the um. Breaches, yeah. The breaches. I think I'm going to do that. Start with the suppressors first. Yeah. So. Um. Three to me. Um, I'll spend a CP to re-roll ones on them. Ooh. So, threes, re-rolling ones. Ooh. Oh, look at that. And threes to wound. Yeah. That is six, minus one. Into Fours. Oh, a failed three, so one dies and one's got... I think we've got a problem, guys, for all future streams. What's that? We're going to have to use the bridge for the dice tray because it looks great. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's good then. <laughs> not, a, not a problem that, that can't be fixed. So we're going to be playing on a, on a desert and we're just going to have our random, uh, <laughs> random bridge. What's this bridge doing here? <laughs> all the we need to make like a giant, like a little mountain to go in the middle or like a... One of those random rickety water towers they have in Western films. <laughs> so I'll do one into the robots and four into the breaches. Oh. So I'll do the one into the robots first. So I get four re-rolls on this for everything because of my seal of oath. Fancy. So freeze, re-rolling. I've actually got an awesome idea, Joe. What we're going to get is four per spec, like clear poles about that height. And we're going to elevate a dice tray into the middle of the table. But to everybody else, it will look invisible. That would look cool. I like yeah. it. Or we could hang it on fish line from the above. <laughs> dun, dun, minus one. Dun, dun. Three. Oh, he's taken two wounds. He's got a number of wounds left represented. Oh, I think it's four. Yeah, there's left. six each. Yeah. And then the ones at the back, there will yeah. be 24... 24. 24 plus 4d6. So I'll have to roll them. I'll have to roll the bolt fists first and then the grenades. So I'll do the bolt fists first. So freeze, re rolling. These are just re rolling to hit and ones to wound. Not full re rolls because it's not the seal of oath. <laughs> Toughness 4. Up is five, mate. Ooh. So you need five. Fives. Three rolling ones. You're doing that all right is, there, actually. That is five, nine, eleven. And now you just destroyed the building. Thank you very much. <laughs> so eleven at minus one, please. And then I've got four d six after. Um, fours. Oh, that was a terrible roll from me. Three. <laughs> so that's four. Six, seven. They are dead. So they are dead. So you've killed two units. So now I've matched you. 
So, can I charge him? What? I can't charge him. Well, you can charge him, but if you charge well, him, I'm you take yourself engage, out yeah. of engage, Steve and then you've lost a unit for you put them there. I could charge them in there, but I mean, but then you're taking yourself yeah, off the objective. Well, I could string them. If I was you, I would check how far that ranger is away from the middle of the table. Because what you could pretend, as in the other way, mate, as in for your engage. Oh, so right. what you could do is potentially get within an inch yeah. and then consolidate three inches backwards to try yeah. and get your engage. Because you only need one model to basically kill him to get in. Com to get in so I would see what the difference is. So 22. If, it's, if he's within four inches, it's pos possible. So if he's 26 inches, it's doable. You can kill him and then consolidate three inches back. He is not. He is 20, 28 inches. Away. Then no. But so it's I, always worth checking. So I could charge here and then string them like that. Mm. That's an idea. That is an idea. So I'm going to give that a go. Give so that I'm a whirl. Charge that into there. This unit will charge them. What are you doing first? You're going to charge yeah into the into the ranger. No, that's and thing. I'll just stay there. Yeah. Right. It's you, into them. I'm going to Overwatch. Very good. <laughs> I'm going to Overwatch for a CP. I'm on zero now. I've still got seven. <laughs> It's absolutely right. So I'm going to transhuman physiology because I don't want any of them to die and you get full rerolls. So I'm going to spend one for transhuman and one for the Gravis stratagem. Do you get your CP back as a Calgar? Can so you do that in... The question is, can you do that in the Overwatch? We'll check, but just roll to see if you get your CP back. I know. So I'll be down to five. But I will just have a look to see if I can use both of those stratagems. Some of them, it's like only in the shooting phase or the combat phase. Transhuman. It just says, so transhuman I can use now because it just says when the unit is picked as a target of an attack. It cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Targets an attack. Um, I don't know what the other one's called. Uh, oh, unyielding in the face of the foe. Yeah, selected as a target of an attack. So oh, I so that will give them plus one save, and you can only win them on a four plus. I so really you have, need them to survive. So you've just spent four CP. Two CP. Um, can you check... Transhumans. Uh, Joe, trans can, you, can you please check the whether you get full rerolls from call? Is it only in the shooting phase? Because if it's only in the shooting phase, you're only going to get it one in six. the shooting phase. And to confirm for transhuman, because the unit is less than five models, it's only one CP, and general wrap is only one CP anyway. Yeah, got that. Awesome. Cool. That's more for Jay. <laughs> yeah, it's only in the shooting phase. Cool. So you won't be getting your rerolls. Did no. you still want to spend the CP on Overwatch? I'm still going to do it because if I can kill one, one, that's something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to still spend my CP because I just really need them all to survive. Yeah. So I'm hitting on sixes. And this is your unit with Seal of Oath on, isn't it? This is Seal of Oath. This is Chapter Master rerolls. This is everything they've got. Um, everything. So I've hit five times. I get five extra hits. Because of your yeah. Warlord trait. Because that is any hit, yeah. as long as it's a gun. So. Then I'm wounding on fours. Fours. It did make a bit of a difference. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that is seven saves. At minus two plus one. So, um, so it would be fives goes to fours. fours. Yeah. I fail three, so one dies. One CP for one dead. Progress is not bad. Right. And you made him spend two? So. Yeah. Right. I need an eight. No, nine, sorry. Ooh. Well, it's eight and a half, so it's eight. It's eight, yeah. Eight. So eight with a re-roll. It's a 12. Oh, it's a <laughs> double six again on his charge. Same. What is this madness? What? That's... Jake's not coming again. I'm not playing Jake if he's going to roll like that. <laughs> I need to roll that for my um, smites, isn't it? <laughs> right. But it does mean that his while we stand unit is sat right in the middle of the table now. Yeah, but you might not have a um. So you. I might not have a unit cast lands yeah. left. So in order for seal of oath, you got to remember you're within your aura ranger to get your rerolls. It's a. Well, he's all the way over here, so I'm not going to get. I'll get chapter master rerolls. I just won't get his rerolls. Because at the start of the turn, you could have made a sp CP to extend your aura range. Oh, is that on anyone? I think so. Oh, okay. If he, um, I think we'll, we'll check. Um, yeah. we'll have, it's, look, it's, it's not, in, it's not important right It's now, in the Ultramarine book, but it could oh, be, okay. could be useful. If that's any aura, 
were, that would I definitely would have done that. Would have been one because I could have strung one back. I'm happy for you to do that if you want to. Look, can you pass me the book. I'll find Let's it. Let's have a read. The Ultraman book's just over here. Oh, oh, the, my one little... of the breaches went for a ride. There um, you go. I'm happy for you to do that because if, obviously... if, if it says rights of war, because hmm. nine would take it, so I could pop one there and still be yeah, still be in range of an inch and inch, half, half an, an inch. inch. Sorry, see. So, yeah. so half an inch, and then it's a to fight. So it's called 1TP, Inspiring Commander. Use the stratagem at the start of your shooting phase or the fight phase. Select one Ultramarines Chapter Master, Ultramarines Captain, or Ultramarines Lieutenant model from your army. Until the end of that phase, the range of that model's auras is increased by three. So by spending 1TP and putting this model here, yep. that is, I will get to do that. So if you're all right with that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's at the start of the combat phase anyway. So, yeah. I get to, oh, so do I get CP? I do Didn't you already got a CP back this turn? So I, get, I, don't, I don't spend the CP. Right, lots of attacks now. So they're also within standard of McCrag, so they're getting an extra attack. What's the range on the standard of McCrag? Twelve. Twelve. So, right. My giddy aunt. Well, just double because the the aura for the no leadership's twelve. Mm. I don't know if that's also the attack as well. Can you just have? Did a we look? give him the Vox or not? No, he doesn't got the Vox. He's just got the standard, but the standard's twelve inch. Ignore morale. I can't remember if it's also for the extra attack as well. The extra attack is six. So, no, we won't get an extra attack then. And so. you can't string back to get it? No, no, no. Um, right, so I'll get three attacks to the aggressor sergeant, one for extra for charging. So you're hitting on fours. Fours, re rolling. Nice, nice. That was a dreadful roll. <laughs> Let's hope you convert better. Oh, he does convert nicely. There we Just go. Picks up another four hits. And then freeze re-rolling. Are you... Yeah, because it's a seal of both. Yeah. And I'm strength. Eight. Eight. That's all of them. Um, minus three. Minus or is it minus two? Minus three is a power fist. Minus three, two, flat two damage. So I've got a two up save. Five up. So five. <laughs> Ooh. I failed. Five. So, so he's so one's dead. So two are dead basically. Nice. So I'll remove him. And I'll remove him. Do, do either of those two explode? Oh, before we get nope. And then I'll consolidate to get them in combat. Cool. They can't retreat and shoot. No, they okay. can't. And that will be the end of that. Will be my fight done. So okay, let's take you back now. You. So three attacks each. One. So uh, threes. So that's three wounds, no minus. So oh, three plus one fails. So one goes down to two wounds. And that is the end of the fight phase. Do they have the take a leadership? They probably do. So but they're, oh, they're leadership 10, so no. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So, end of that go, I'm going to get engage in all fronts for three points. I'm going to get... And that's it. Because oh. you don't get grind. I do get grind. Why? Because you only killed... I killed the sterilizers. Oh, yeah. I know. No, I killed the sterilizers and the breaches. Oh, you so, did, yeah. So, yeah. You, 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 you scored equal to. Yeah. So, I don't get grind that term. No. But that's fine. That's all right. So that's the end of turn three. So turn four. So turn four, I get ten points for holding three. Oh, you got a CP, mate. Spend it wisely. I will do. Um, and I have to go into the Assault Doctrine now. Mm -hmm. So I will do that. And I get three banners. Nice. Nicey, nice. Nice. No ice. Remember, Jake, you've got a stratagem. You can put a unit in Tactical Doctrine if you want. Yes, I did. I did remember that one. Thank you for reminding me, because I've got that one in the noggin. I also have a stratagem in the Space Marine book to put a unit in all doctrines, which would be very good, potentially, for... Is the one in the tactical... The one I put the unit into the tactical doctrine, is it just they only count as being in the tactical doctrine, or is it tactical and whatever else is active? 
Um, hang on a minute. I need to uh, think about. I think I need to adjust the score slightly. Hey, that's okay. Uh, yeah, Math- up can get confused. Yeah, Matthew, I think you're right. You're on four points for banners, not three, aren't you? I for- yeah. Me? Yeah, you're on four points for banners. No, you're I'm on five. For banners? I got, yeah, because I got two turn two, three turn three. So you're on five. Okay, cool. I forgot to put you on. Because I put the extra one up here. Yeah, cool. Thank you, Matthew, for letting me know. Yeah, they always help me with, with the counting. Sometimes it always goes off. Or there was, a, there was a, some occasions where the line isn't at, isn't straight. So, like, it, I put it, I put the score into one box that I think's right, and then it appears in a whole other one. I think those aggressors are dead. <laughs> yeah, I want those aggressors dead. I'm going to have to bring this book with me because I always forget all the guns that old Belisarius has. He's got the one main gun, but it's all like his little combat attacks, isn't it? That he's yeah. got quite a few of. And then this is where I probably should have just trained the Calgar and all the characters and trying to kill all them robots. Admittedly, they can't do anything. Oh, and I need to roll for my canticles again. Oh, yes. Because rules. Oh, right. So the scores on the doors are 62 to 55. So I, ro- I roll a three and a four again. Very good. <laughs> living, living in the middle of the road. road, road. Living, so... I'm going to go for reroll ones in combat and um, Shroud Psalm. Shroud Psalm. Very good. So the, the same as the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> that is good though, isn't it? So I'm going to start off with the Onaga Dune Crawler here. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm going to start off with the one, the one Caffron Destroyer the into this unit. Overcharge. Overcharge. <laughs> So all you need then is one wing to kill him. The team, are chan- uh, the team Joe are chanting. Yeah, listen charge. to the team. <laughs> what I'm going to do? No, I'm not going to overcharge it. I'm going to start <laughs> off with these rangers because I moved them over there for a reason. <laughs> and that reason was to shoot. You will shoot them on the beaches. So seven. It's a little wound. Oh, I don't know what that's from. So seven. So seven shots. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. So one wound at minus one. On the suppressors. On the suppressors. So they're in they're touching the cover. They're touching the cover, yep. All good. All good. Then Mr. Destroyer, he's going to overcharge. Hey. D6 shots. <laughs> Five. Rolled a one. Well, I rolled a one. I'm going to spend my command point to re-roll it. That. Actually, no, I'm not good. I'll let him die. <laughs> I'll let him die. Oh, and you would, the two would have missed. Oh, and the two would have missed. So I'll take one of those out. I'm wounding you on twos. Yeah. So there's two, two and minus, minus three. Minus three. So five up because I'm in cover. Yeah. I fail one. So that does kill him. Yeah. So overcharging was the... Oh, that only kills the ones. Yeah. I, should have fired, I should have fired the flamer first, which gets one shot. Oh. It doesn't wound. Oh, there we go then. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to shoot the on a gajoon crawler at him. So three shots. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this All hit. laser. Two and wounds, minus four, four, so he gets a six up save because he's in cover. Oh, now he's nearly. <laughs> so he's dead. Should have started with him. Oh, I didn't move that ranger. Oh, well. Ranger. Hmm. You're going to have another go at him next game. <laughs> so the Onaga Jink crawler, actually, no, the destroyers yeah. are going to shoot. Into the suppressors. Into the suppressors. So I'll shoot the three flamers first. Yeah. So there's nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wounding on threes. No, fours. Strength four. Strength yeah. four. So it's three at minus one. And I fail one, so that yeah. puts one on one wound. So I'll just pop it on that one. And then three D6. Um, plasma shots. Oh, so oh ten. No, no. <laughs> Six, nine, ten. Out of range of Belisarius calls. So I'm hitting you on fours. Oh. I probably should have overcharged. Into the suppressors. Into the suppressors. And then threes. So three at minus three. So six ups. I fell them all. They're not overcharged, are they? So that no. would just kill these two here, leaving that one yeah. guy remaining. Then. It's fun time. <laughs> over here. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to spend some 
threats. So what damage is... So I'm going to shoot the Manipulus first. And what damage he's damaged two. So I'm just going to spend one CP on Transhuman Physiology. And he's so got... Okay. I do get the CP back, so I don't spend any. So it's a Flamer, which it is five shots. Oh, oh. can't roll dice. Can't roll dice Wounded on fives, though. Wounded twice. And it's minus... One, two damage. So, four points. I fail one. So that kills kill one. one. Yep. Yep. Then, Mr. Belisarius Cool is going to go next. With his neutron laser destroyer. <laughs> so, it's a solar atomizer. Solar. D3 shots. Just the one. Good, good. It's, it's one. on a two. Misses, but obviously gets to re-roll. Hits. Uh, strength ten. So fours. Because I've got a Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was good. So cool. Stepped up to the plate and did nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and then, D3 shots from the Honor Good June Crawler. One. Hits. Wounds, Wounds, minus four. four. So no save. No save. So Min one dies. Minimum three damage. And then the stubbers. The stubs. Oh, look at those sixes. One, two, three. <laughs> I always mad. forget to fire the stubs. That is really the wrath of Mars, eh? Oh, look at that. So how many Five times? saves. The four would have wounded. No, because you, yeah, yeah, your tough is five. Oh. Sorry, five, one fail. Oh. This is where using that strat would have potentially helped. Mm. One's on two. This is a super close game, guys. I want to know who's going to win. Let me know in the chat. Who is it? Who's going to win? Is it Joe? Is it Jake? I thought, yeah, I thought you had me someone, but I think I'm going to claw. Yeah. Back. <laughs> like so like a... I'm going to have to. So with the, these boys. Yes, Jake. If I charge, do they still strike first? Uh, no, you get no. to ch you get to make is ba he basically gets a free interrupt. Okay. So when there's a fight first, and I'll explain this for the chat as well. Yeah. So is if there's a fight cool? first, although it says at the start of the fight phase, if you look in the advanced uh, section of the rule book, it will say that basically anything with a fight first, the charger unit gets to fight before you. If Jake had something to make you fight last, then obviously, or if there was two charges that you make. And let's say you d didn't declare the unit that has the fight first. What could essentially happen is you could go Joe, then Jake can go with his fight first unit, then it would go back to your second charging unit without yeah. Jake needing to spend the two CPs to interrupt. So that's how it would work. Very useful. So Belisarius Cool is going to charge him. I'm in Overwatch. And the reason being is just because I've got these CPs and I want to try and do some wins to him. You do have other stratagems, you know, Jake, you can use... Well, the re one. <laughs> 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 I was being sarcastic. No. This, is, this is where it's hard to tell. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm going to shoot. Some, his. some people really don't get my humour. Jake is one. It's, he looks at me. It's more like, that I, I just think I'm really bad at reading people's voices. I can tell from their facial expressions, but only when he I'm laughs in, after. <laughs> and I'm in the dark over here. Yeah. So he doesn't know whether I'm being serious got, or what. I haven't got my glasses on. Right. Um, so the grenades do an additional six. So this Ooh. is 18 shots. Um, I'm not going to spend any CPs to reroll ones. Or anything, Did you get your CPs back? No. Oh, what, from from doing Transhuman? From doing the Overwatch. Oh, oh, no, I already got mine back from doing Transhuman. Cool, so you're down to four, yeah? You've not been giving him loads of extra CP a turn, have you? Two sixes. Three hits. Are they still getting Chapter Master rerolls? Yeah. <laughs> I wait till he tipped them all over the table and then remind him. And there's loads of sixes in there as well, but for this for the chat so they can see one extra hit. There you go. Aren't I generous? <laughs> that would have been like I fun. am a generous king. <laughs> and then um toughness is I'm assuming six. So fives. One wound. No minus this time because we're in the assault Two up. now. It's a one. Hey. <laughs> so That's what? Brilliant. This will come down to the, like, it would have been like one wound, didn't it? And then he's going to charge. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, dear. Oh. Like that. Poor little robot. There oh, no. Just, just shoving him out of the way. <laughs> Get out of the way, Mr. Robot. 
old, old slug bit. Because that's what they also says, Mr. Robot. Mm. Right. Punchy, punchy time. Punch, punch, please. So I get... Joe, did you fall back with that unit of robots? Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't you just stay in combat and shoot? It's so cool and... Why didn't you just stay in combat? Don't come at me with your <laughs> common sense and your rules. I did think that, admittedly. Like, why didn't... Why, why didn't... Who, I anyone... Because no, I thought that you wanted the better strength guns to kill the aggressor. No, because jo- they would have just absolutely nuked him in well, the shoot. Jo- Joe hasn't used a vehicle since 1996, <laughs> and he's forgotten that big guns never tire exist. And I, and I didn't want to say anything earlier, but I was like... Since the great dark Is Eldor, there some I, sort of cunning to be plan? Fair, would you have done as much? Because I could have spent... The well, no, I would, have, done, I would have, have fired 18 shots into you. Yeah, which I would Hitting have. on fives by re-roll everything. But it, you buy, you only win me on fours, and I get plus one save because of... It's, it's been a long day for Joe. It it's has been. been. A, I, it's, it's I been would a have very, done way more damage. But no, it's fine. It's been a very long and emotional day, day for Joe. <laughs> so um, we're going to give him a break, guys, okay? We love Joe. We Everybody... Loves Joe. Everybody okay. loves Joe. Everyone. Right. In the world. Omniscient X. Oh, God. <laughs> Hit on twos. You're all the ones. Boom. You're all the ones. Um, you don't have transhuman on anymore. Um, would I have used it? No. Um, no. Do you want transhuman? I did, yeah, but... Well, if you want, if you want it, put it on it. me. Um, is there, has he got many one damage weapons? There will be a one damage weapon hitting in a second. So I'll spend two CP because I just really need them yeah. to survive. So one to give them plus one save versus one damage and one to give okay. them. Okay. I'm wounding you on threes. Maybe Cool just wanted it, didn't he? <laughs> uh, they've all wounded. Oh, God. <laughs> it's minus two, two damage. So five plus. Oh, he's killed them all. How much damage is it? Two each. Oh, no. That's a while we stand, we fight. God. That's why you <laughs> didn't. That's why he didn't stay in combat. Yeah, exactly. Belisario is cool. I'd go in and be like, pow, pow. <laughs> This is how like, while we you do stand, it. I fight you. <laughs> while <laughs> I stand, we fight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Guys in the chat, let us know if you're enjoying the stream. If you are, please give us a like. Um, and if you're new to Vanguard Tactics, then make sure cool. you subscribe. So then every time we release a new battle report or stream, which we stream every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, which I think is 1 p.m. EST. PM, yeah. Um, but yeah, check us out every Tuesday. At six hours. I should have charged over there. Can I charge you? Yeah, yeah. Of I'm going to send in the, the no. robots. Say no. No, he let me do my thing. I'll do it. Yeah. I gave him all the go-backs. Say no. No to Joe. No to Joe. <laughs> it's wow. like a campaign speech. No to Joe. So I have lost, however, you can't, five you, points on my while we stand. So I will let you punch me first, though. Yay. Oh. Through my generosity. What a nice guy. Freeze. Just don't kill any. <laughs> Fives. One wound, minus one. Okay. He's all right. He's all right. Oh, we got someone new to Warhammer in general uh, called Quizzer. So massive, massive welcome to Warhammer 40k. Um, It is the most epic game. And also welcome to us at Vanguard Tactics. It's a pleasure to have you here while we host you for our stream tonight. So yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, really appreciate it. All the likes we've just had. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really means a lot. Also, just want to take this time to thank our sponsors. We've got JW Gaming for the mats. The link's below. You can get a discount using our code. Um, and then also, thank you to Foreground for providing us with all this amazing terrain. And also Seed Studios, one of our recent sponsors who are going to be helping us out with getting some beautifully painted models going forward in the future. And obviously, Entoyment that help us out with all of our war gaming goods. So if you want to get yourself... Um, some discounted hobby based stuff check out Entoyment they do other game systems or board games and other bits and bobs Uh, but yeah go and check them out for all your hobby supplies they've got a great live um, cart so you can see what they actually have in stock for that instant delivery that we need when you need it you you don't have to wait like two or three weeks it's epic Yeah. so anyway thank you very much over to the game my charge did nothing I ran over there we just headbutt each other and nothing happened (laughs) hang on a minute let me get Car. That right there, yeah? The yeah. headbutt. So at the end of my turn, I get engage for two. That ranger that I forgot about is totally keeping me in it. And I killed one, two, two units this turn? Yes. Two units. Because you killed the suppressors and you killed the aggressors. And yeah. I lost five points on the long stand. Hang on a minute, we've, got, we've had an 
incredible super chat in an extremely generous twenty dollars from mike pierce thank you so much mike i like mike hero what a hero i mean i don't know if you're going to be saying that in a second joe but i love it <laughs> nonetheless hang on a minute let's go to uh player cam so mike is oh hang on oh, oh it's, it's, tilting. Just, it's just tilted to it's the uh, chest area chesticles um <laughs> Mike Pierce has said, streams are great, but I come to learn what not to do from Joe. Winky face. Wow. Mike, Mike was really wow. doing the super chats last week. We Just, I'm running aggressive Eldar-based ad mech here. <laughs> Why Eldar-based? I don't know. I, 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 like, I like to run my ad mech like I run Drakari. Just like little speedy units that travel around everywhere. <laughs> and yeah, so the, my, my scourges are my sterilizers. The Castellans are my Talos. I like it. Mm. I like it. Cool. But they're cool. way better cool. than Talos. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. Well, a long way. <laughs> <laughs> but Mike Pierce, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Really appreciated. Thank you. Right. Yeah. And remember, guys, all Super Chat donations for the entire month of November and also any advertisement pennies we get from YouTube go to November this month. So thank you so much. The month of February. Mm. Right. So Scores start your turn four. So I will get ten points for the primary and three, three points yeah. for banners. So very good. I'll right. oh, leave him alone. <laughs> leave him alone. Right, I need to. I'll oh, send out everyone. Yeah, send that's out. what I'm thinking. Keep the, keep the banner here holding. Send strong. out the clowns. Send in the clowns. Because they can move fine to there and try and shoot them off. You say try and shoot them off. Well, so I can you've run got... and shoot. This is... So I'm going to give them chapter master. I give Calgar chapter master rerolls. You need a big reroll, you because you're currently Again, no, you're twenty seven inches away. So, uh, eighteen inch range. Eighteen inch range. You're five inch move. So I need a same. No, you need to roll yeah, a, a. You need to roll a four. Four. So if command if phase, I'm going to give Calgar his own rerolls because he's going to get punch call. That's bold. Yeah. Well, there's not much else I can do, um, and then Tiggy. I don't give his minus one yet, so I can do it for Calgar. So he's really good. Good movement. <laughs> Calgar's <laughs> going to go after the uh, the. I'm going to retreat. The Castellans. Joe, how many points do you want for engage? I've got. Have I you, think I got. Got one turn I've of two, and then no, every other one turn of. No, I had one turn of three, three. and then it's been twos ever since. Oh, okay. okay, so that means you're on nine, yeah. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So I'm going to move the suppressor there to, to, um, to contest that objective. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. I feel really proud of myself there. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's now going to put you on five on the primary. Um, recoup the loss. Um, and then the aggressors will run. That's six. They're getting 11. This is my other while we stand with my unit. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Of don't course. don't hide your entire army. Yeah. Well, well we Cause didn't know because you score at the end of your turn, yeah. right? Yeah. So if you give me nothing to shoot at, oh, well, I can in, just the, jump in, out. in my turn five, right, you can literally jump onto three objectives, and, then and if you obsec me off that one next turn, I can't. Admittedly, you can't do it. But <laughs> if you could stop me from holding one, because you, you're gonna, I'm getting five this turn. Yeah. Start my turn. Which means that so I, I just hide here. You just hide. Jake, what are you on for engage? Um, five, eight. So I had two. Because you had two turns. Two turns of three, one turn of two. Yeah. So eight. You're on eight. Yeah. Because yeah. I accidentally deleted. Did you deleted. get any turn one no. engages? No. So turn two, I got two. Oh no, so it would only be five. I'm about to get another two this game. So it was five. So you're currently on five. Five, yeah. yeah. It's Ooh. banners I'm on yeah. eight. That was the one. Because if you give me nothing to shoot at, yeah. Admittedly, my only option is to just rush forward. Yeah. If you can stop me, because you get fifteen points yeah. potentially. Um, so I love Mike because actually Mike is now spurred off two other massive super chats at twenty dollars and twenty five. So the first one is from forty forty k amateur hour. Love that name. Joe keeps us. Joe keeps getting picked on, but we got your back, good sir. They love you, Joe. Picked on every so we love him. He's <laughs> mm. not feeling it, are you, Joe? Uh, I do. 
I do have a heavy schedule of just crying alone um, at the moment. <laughs> and, the then, <laughs> and then <laughs> Bob <laughs> Nuns come in with a $25. Yeah. Joe Fan Club Charter member, subscribers <laughs> due. Don't listen to the haters. Keep up the good work, guys. I don't know where the hate apparently comes from. It, it's coming from me. <laughs> oh, right. And everybody else. And everyone oh. else. Yeah. I don't know. That's fine. Behind That's Joe's back. Oh, you give me a lift home, I can't hate you. So. Yeah, it's a long walk to Salisbury, <laughs> yeah, let's is. be honest. Right. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to go with that. So, just to recap, moving the suppressor over there to, to, um, to contest that objective, they're just going to say they're trying to shoot the ranger off. Mm -hmm. And then they're just going to, the bros are just going to hide in here. All right. What you probably uh, we, we've had an interesting comment here. It's called um, from Hydration Bot. Imagine telling your opponent what to do. L M A O. Uh, not only is this tactically insane, but also horrible to watch. So when we stream, guys, mm. we are not here to just beat face. We're here to discuss tactics, some strategies. For us, our streams are more play testing. So if you don't like the way we play or you don't like the way that we interact with each other, be, but that's kind of what we want to try and do differently. We're about understanding what we can do differently. Now, the differences between us and maybe some other channels, and we want to have our unique th um, you know, standpoint on the game. And it's really understanding you will learn so much more from what your opponent is thinking than what you currently are because your opponent is constantly thinking about how can they beat me? How can they deny me points? What would really threaten me? And by having these discussions at the table, not only if somebody's listening or learning as an ultramarine player, they might be thinking, actually, yeah, I was going to do what Jake was going to do, but Joe's just made a really valid point here from a from the his adversary. Mm -hmm. What would actually put the admec under a lot more pressure? So if you don't like it, that's completely cool. Uh, this is just the way that we like to do things. We're never going to appeal to everybody. But uh, hopefully that gives you some element now of why we are going over tactics, why we help each other. I constantly coach when I'm playing because we are a coaching channel. You know, we have an academy that coaches. So it, for us, it's more about how good can we get the, our skill level c together as a team rather than just let's just roll dice and try and smash each other's face. And that's not what we do here. The other thing as well is obviously where you two get to play a lot when it's versus each other, that's bringing a lot of experience. Yeah. Whereas myself, obviously with everything at the moment, I, I'm lucky if I get to sort of play once a month. Mm. Um, so yeah. it's, it's obviously really good tactical insight from you guys and just shows that what you bring to the sort of, you know, teaching side of thing. But it also helps me as well. And, you know, and I really appreciate it because what would you guys like to see? Me move up, get shot off, and then we're done in an hour. Or would you like to actually see an interactive game where everybody's having fun and chatting and yeah. doing all that? Absolutely. So we've <laughs> we've <laughs> also got another... Um, We've also got another chat here, which is awesome, from Blue Line 95 Hi, I've just started Warhammer again after a 10-year break. Used to remember me when I used to teach at Tendering Technology College. So that was when we're talking back in 2011, I think. I used to, is when I did my teaching master's oh, and wow. graduate, my placement as a, because I graduated to be a PE teacher. That's what I studied. Um, so now I'm... Learned how to teach PE, now teaching, for, now teaching Warhammer. But um, yeah, honestly, thanks so much. I really, really appreciate it. Awesome. That's so sick. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, like as I said, it's one of those things where, you know, like what would you guys rather see? Me just get shot off in an hour and then we're done and, you know, you guys yeah. have just sort of been... Mm. But, or would you like to see us interact and, you well, know, Joe show his the, knowledge and Steve show his knowledge? These, these are like important things, though, because of the change in the game recently to, like, during lockdown as yeah. well. So we've... The change in the game to the person going second, scoring at the end of the game, these are like important things to take on. So like, because Jake can stay here and kill this ranger yeah. and sit on this objective. And then he could rush out, because obviously he wants to stop me from scoring. But if he, so he scored on this objective at the start of his turn, he doesn't score to the end of his next turn. If he moves away from the objective, so... Actually, if you stand off the objective here, like that, not gonna get shot. which means that they, these guys here, if they move forward, can't shoot because they're stood behind obscuring terrain. You, nothing over here can shoot them, and they kill him from shooting this ideally. turn, <laughs> ideally. Yeah. So the ranger goes off. And by hiding all of his characters here, I can't shoot them. And by hiding these guys here behind this wall, which is solid, no one over here can shoot them either. 
And I would put the yeah. suppressor behind that wall, but he doesn't have enough yeah. movement. Because if Jake stays on here, on this objective holding it, I just move these guys eight, charge onto the wall, hold the objective, and it means that all of his characters have to try and kill me off that objective. Yeah, honestly, you want to, like, that is the benefit of going second. Like, that is so important. Yeah. And, you know, when we were playtesting back in the day when it was, like, looking at this new mechanic, it was crazy, like, to think this is an awesome change. Yeah, and really myself and Joe were amazed by the change when it came out in the FAQ. It was awesome to see. So, um, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic to see this obviously happen and you've really got to take advantage of that second turn um mike pierce has come back in with another 20 dollar, and we are at 90 we're at 97 pounds 15 pence wow That's what eight, what yeah. an incredible stream guys um so if it doesn't hit 100 by the end of today i will make it 100 yeah. myself so um we'll just add that back in but um, yeah, he said, I really appreciate the playtesting style. Last week's stream allowed me to take two games over the week. Love your boys, Joe especially. So uh, yeah, yeah, Mike was a hero last mm. week. He was coming in with all the super chats and yeah. everything. So really, really appreciate it because obviously it's a fantastic cause, especially with everything going on at the moment. So. Uh, Mohawk's off for the night. So thanks so much for tuning in, mate. We'll nice. catch you soon, buddy. So anyway, let's carry on yeah, with right. the game. Yeah, so, so, by, yeah, so by, I'm going to move them here. Yeah, so by moving them back there, it means that the Castellans... Can't, can't move forward and charge to hold this objective. And they can't shoot it. They can't shoot anything. But it, it means that if I move forward and I advance, I'll get close enough to this objective to hold it. But then I can obsec But then you just obsec it without having to deal with them at all. Also, take my banner down. Ginger Steve has uh, reminded you, Jake, that uh, in a super chat, so thank you very much, it's a long walk to Salisbury. It's a long walk, I know. Stop using all your re-rolls. The chat's just Team Joe. Yeah. Who's Ginger Steve? <laughs> How does he now find <laughs> This is who these people are. Yeah. <laughs> so if, if, you, if, you, if you do know me, hello. So, it is very far. So you have to kill a ranger. I literally have to kill a ranger. But it does mean that I still get... And the scores on the doors are 64 to Joe to 63 to Jake. Because oh he's obviously removed those five points off while we stand, we fight. Yeah. I'm, which also, I'm about to, I'm obviously next game. Hopefully yeah. five points off there. So it could... It could so lead it's a close game. He need, you need to kill, I'm tempted to put these into tactical doctrine. Just to make if you kill that ranger... Because he needs to how die. Many, how many it's like in your turn too? Yeah, so you're going to get grind. So I'll get grind... But it means like next it. turn, yeah. I don't score it because there's nothing I can kill. Yeah. So he's 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 killing a unit this turn, which is one of my objects, but it denies me next turn. Right, let's see it. So I'm going to spend, because I just want him dead, I want the extra minus. So You're better off just spending the 2 CP, no, the 1 CP you. to re-roll everything, because they're, they're, yeah. they're a troops, aren't they? They will do that. So 2 CP re-roll everything. Do I get it back? Oh, sorry, 1 CP. No. Right. 8 shots. 8 shots. Freezer rolling, which does convert. Yeah. Three to wounds. Threes. Six at minus one, because we're in the assault doctrine. So, fours. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I failed. I failed two. Which means? If, if you hadn't made it minus one, I would have only failed one. Oh, no, I didn't make it. They're just minus one anyway. Oh. What I mean is I can spend the other CP and make it minus two. Right. That's the end of the game. Yeah. So, I'll get... Engage on all fronts for two points. Yeah. But you'll get grind for three. I get grind for three, but by having that suppressor on that objective there, means that... Um, Denied you five. Yeah, on the primary. So I'm only getting five at the start of my turn, but I am getting three banners. Ooh. <laughs> Check me. Um, so we've got a few comments. Uh, we've got another super chat from Neon Skies. Five dollars. I like you, Jake, but I serve the Omasar first and foremost. Oh. Bury the Smurfs in the perfection of the steel. Oh, but you like me. That's all right. Uh, I like Mike you. <laughs> Um, Matthew Atwood has said, don't know if Jake has enough assets to get there this game, but enjoyed the heck out of it though, boys. And Fulvio has said, sorry, Jake, you're a great chap, but we want our Team Joe shirts as seen on the Facebook community. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Vanguard okay, Tactics but... has said, hello, just wondering if I miss the stream, can I watch it later? Sorry, new to this, thank you. <laughs> yes, absolutely, you can watch this back anytime it stays on our channel all the time, yeah. I forgot that we said if Joe won a game on stream, he gets his own shirts. I do. 
Um, eh, that was a promise. So we're in turn five now, yeah? Yeah, top of turn five. So Jay's just scored five points on his primary and three points on the banners. Luckily, that little cheeky suppressor has denied him the whole three. Cheeky, cheeky. Look at that, the bone coming into play once again. Well, you will get a grind because you can shoot me. Just I can kill him, yeah. yeah. Well, I could potentially kill Cole or someone. Oh, you'd be so lucky. Lol. <laughs> Lol. I could. The thing is that I could. Calgar needs to get in there. I, think. I could just pull back. And then chief kill him off. and then Never pull back. Always forward. Never backwards. Robot. Uh, you're getting how many for banners? Tw uh, three, yeah? Yeah. So, oh, I've just updated... Jake's what an idiot. It happens. Um, it happens. I know. <laughs> how many were you on before, mate? What banners? You were on eight, weren't you? Uh, yes. Are you going in? Jake, how many did you get for engage on that last turn? I got two points. So you're on seven like, now. Yeah. Gonna advance, uh, Mr. Potato Head. The tech priest manipulist yeah. <laughs> for maybe his other name. Right. Right, yo. Did you get grind them down in turn four? I did. did. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh, okay, did. that's killed, changed things. He killed two, I only killed one. So the Onaga like June Crawler. Oh, what are my counter calls this turn? Um, Same as Boogie. Shroud Simon reroll ones in combat. Awesome. So, <laughs> Onaga like June Crawler is going to shoot Mr. Mr. Suppressor. Suppressor. Three shots. Is there anything I can do here? Is there anything else? Uh, I'm out of reroll range. Only one here. Do um suppressors have uh, smoke He's launchers? Dead. They do. That's why I was saying with the strap, but it wouldn't matter anyway because he would have hit on a five. So. But in the but he does have it, so he could use one CP to make himself minus one. Bob Nunn, thank you so much for your extremely generous um, super chat donation there of twenty five dollars. Thank you so much. So actually, I'm gonna advance. I've already shot, so I can't advance. So that's the end of my turn. That was a quick one. Yeah. <laughs> Just because these guys, because these guys here can't shoot over here. Um, I can't see these guys, and I can't see them because they're the Onager can't actually see. Plus, she, I advanced. She didn't get a kill this turn. I did. I he killed did, the suppressor. Kill the oh, you killed one. No, I got to now try and kill. So he's got to kill something. You? He's got to kill something. I do get engage. Though. For so how many points? For. Uh, hang on. I think the Onager's in. No, Mr. Mr. Potato, uh, the <laughs> Manipulus is in, but the Onager's just inside. So you'll get two. So I get two on a gauge. Two points? Yeah. So you got 11, you finished needed, on 11 on that. I needed a six. So I will get three points for banners. So the, the score is... Uh, Jake's got to have a turn, yeah? 77 you're on at the moment. Jake is currently on 63. So all Jake has to do, do is get on to win this game. Hang on a minute. He's on 40 plus, hang on a second, 40 plus, he's on 50, 50 plus. I'm just going to put Calgary rules on himself. He's on 65, should I say. So, so, 60, so if you move over to here. Yeah, so that will get that. That gets you 10 points. Yeah, so put them back there. Because he gets three banners at the start now, of the Now, you also get three, three at the back. end of yeah. the game, yeah. so you'll go up to 80. Oh, yeah, you get right, three obviously. points on banners, so actually you go up to 68 now. Right, so then move of them all. You have to kill one one thing, so one unit. Is it probably, it's probably worth Calgar coming out, null zoning, and then punching Coulter. Yeah? Yeah. So Calgar has enough move just to pop him on this side of the building. Mm -hmm. So does Tiggy. The banner, I've Save got a top, I get a CP. What's the fists of cap? The fists of the just, crag? Um, minus three yeah. or minus yeah. Minus four now because of um because of the tactical uh, soft doctrine. Ooh. Sorry. Right, psychic. I'm gonna null zone. So hang on a minute. Let's oh. recap. Where are we at? So Calgar and Tiggy have moved to this side of the building because I need to kill one unit. So I'm gonna put null zone up for Cole to try and kill him off because I just need to kill one unit and he's easier to kill than two robots. Um, I can smite him as well, which will help. And they're just all holding objectives. And then I've got the CP to be able to extend my aura range so I can give Calgar another attack. 
And why aren't you charging with your um, chapter engine and your lieutenant? Wait, can I need to? No, I'll just throw them all out. Why, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Right. You need every single attack you can get, right? And the lieutenant will just sit. Why don't you oh, he won't sit within an inch, so he'll have to go that why way. Why are you charging the aggressors? Because I need to sit on an objective. Yeah, I still so need one. Leave your worst unit, right? I'll put, so he's the worst, in theory. So they can just, well, they won't be able to go, both of them won't be able to go through the building. They've only got a five minutes move to plod along. Yeah, so I can shoot, I can try and shoot them off. You'd have to roll a massive advance, because it's 18, 18 is... Five. So you need to roll a, a five on your advance. Give it yeah. a go. It's I've a got three. CP. Yeah, I'll re-roll it. Oh, one inch off. Do I get the CP back, though? No, so that's two. Can one still shoot from there? So that would give me ten. Nine. No, sorry, nine, sorry. So that would pop him there. And pop him there. One is it. Not the other one. One can shoot. Right. And they all get counted on as well, but not So I'll pop. So when you go second, you've literally just got to go all in. Yeah. You can't, when you, like, then there's, well. you, there's no point keeping those characters at the back. Like, you need to go all in. Like, you, right. Joe can't kill you, so you go all in when you go second. This is so many people like really fail to finish this the game off when they go yeah. second and there's this real perception that when you go first it's a big advantage but actually going second allows this you get like the ultimate power turn and if you don't use it you lose it yeah turn turn five for the person going second is a potential like 15 points how many cp is it to put a unit in the tactical doctrine one okay because i want to do that so i'm just working it all out in my head mm. but when do i do it so just do it. Just do it now if you want. Okay, well, I'll put the aggressors in the tactical doctrine. Right. Then. Do I get it? I did get you it. Do get it back. I need the minus one. It's at the start of your movement phase, but yeah. Yeah. Cool. So psychic, because that's all the moves. So there, 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 there. Yeah. He's he's within three and yeah. within six. Yeah. So right. I got so three inches there, six inches there. Why aren't they there? Shooting. Why aren't the other unit? Because yeah, they moved all the way back here, no, from here. Yeah. so they're not there. This unit, they didn't do that. They didn't move, so you could go. So as long as one of them keeps the toe. Yeah, to come out. Uh, pointy man. Pointy man, right. So we'll go psychic now. So null zone. Yep. Not Doesn't go off. I can re-roll it. Yeah. It'll re-roll. Doesn't Still go not off. off. Then smite. Goes off. Yeah. D3. One. Uno. Uno. I am back down to seven because he heals a wound. Well, he heals D3, but he only took one wound of him last time. Oh, yeah, because I'm on very watch. Um, right, this, I'll do the aggressors first because they've got the longer range gun. Minimum three. So nine shots. Threes to hit, we roll fours to hit, we rolling ones. Mm -hmm. Threes to wound. Threes to wound. Uh, three at minus one on Sorry. the ranges. Fours. <gasps> Two are dead. That's a problem. That is a problem. So if I take out him and okay. him, I'm going. Yeah. yeah. My coherency is dead. Hang on a minute. Please. No. You could take one off the other side. Put him back where he was. Yeah. Because he was within three, right? Yeah. Right. You're going to lose some anyway. I'm going to lose some regardless. Yeah. The... He was within. Like, see, they're just without, out of two, you see. Yeah. So it means that I'm going to lose one of those objectives. So yeah. I will then shoot with this unit. So three shots, all hit, one wound. Ooh. Minus one, he's one more dead. dead. And then Calgar. So, right, all the guns into call, everything into call, just because I need to kill him off. So his bolt guns of McCrag. Yeah. He gets, he's put his chapter mastery rolls on himself. So all hit, fives, one wound, minus one. Ooh, so three up. 
Two damage. Two damage. Fine. And then Tiggy will throw a grenade. We're he hero. Hits. Crack grenade, I'm assuming. Yeah, and he doesn't wound. The the banner will throw a grenade. The suspension. He hits. He drinks six. No up to six. Yep. So no wounds. Um, and that's that. Oh, this one could have shot. It doesn't matter. Right. How many CP do I have? Well, I've got you down as one. Did you spend one in your last turn? No, I didn't spend so, any in my last turn. So one then. <laughs> I will charge with Tiggy, Banner, Calgar. Yeah, but who's charging first? Calgar's got a four up in going off damage. The Banner's the one. least important guy. So <laughs> I'm not going to. Just, just, send, just send him in. Right? <laughs> they, they're all in. You would charge with the banner first because you can do the least amount in combat and you can sacrifice him the most. Yeah. Right. So he gets getting eight attacks now because of, oh. of his fists and the banner as well. So the order in which you want to do this, because he can't interrupt, is you want to fight with your worst character first. I'll do the banner then. Oh no, yeah, the banner because he's just got a basic yeah. weapon. Because calgar has got D3 damage, you may want to keep a CP in the pocket for a reroll oh, on yeah. a damage. Oh, okay. So this is why you want to go your worst character first when they can't interrupt. I always think he's got flat teeth. Right. Freeze. Three hits. No, no wounds. wounds. Ten Tiggy. So Tiggy gets five. Ooh, I'll look for I think he's got five. I'm not sure. Five attacks, yeah. What with all the bonuses? Um, do you get plus one for the banner? I get plus one. So you get six attacks in. Ooh. Do you get a bonus from the banner and the shock assault? Yeah. Wow. This was before they changed all the stuff. Well, and it is a relic you are taking, yeah. Um, does he hit on twos? I think he does. Or threes. Mostly he's hit on threes. Threes. Three. So three hits. Ooh. And then strength, strength five. six. Uh, no, he's strength seven. Ooh. Minus four. So two, two and minus four. Fives. One pass, one fail. D3 damage. One. One. So. It's, see, that's probably worth re-rolling yeah. at this stage because you'd only ever spend a, a re-roll on Calgar getting a damage, so you may as well try and do three damage now. Which I get another one. Yep, that's so. fine. So he's down to five. And then Calgar gets... Whoa, it's only a building. <laughs> Calgar right. is going to get eight attacks. Just pop everyone back where they want. Eight attacks. Two's re-rolling because he put his chapter master re-rolls on himself. Mm -hmm. Seven hits. Ooh. Strength ten. So threes. He's oh. strength eight. Strength eight. So threes. F three wings. Oh. Minus four. <laughs> this is where Noel's aim has been massive. Oh, All failed. failed. You do have I've got, I'm going to spend one of my CP to re-roll. This is big. Oh. <laughs> it's oh. a six. Right, come on. So Jake is required to roll. <laughs> Jake is required. <laughs> to I'm roll. just going to go action cam here on Joe's face. <laughs> Hang on a second. Uh. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, it's a one. Oh, it's a one. It's a one and a six. So he's done one way. He's got one way left. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that's not good. How guys, while we stand, isn't he? Yeah. Well, I haven't got Noel's. If Noel's aim was off, that would have been dead. Yeah, but then you would. Sad. <laughs> Oh, well, Cat will call would have been. Well, <laughs> it wouldn't have matter. Yeah. But now here's he goes. He's Cole's gonna hit. bork Calga right <laughs> in the <laughs> face. Uh, Dean said, "I appreciate how VT and others like Tabletop Titans play an educational and competitive game when it's more important to have fun and teach than it is to wreck huge, rack up huge victories, helping to get to hundred. Thank you Ooh. so much. I really appreciate that, Dean, and thank you for your super chat. Oh, that's okay. only one wound on Calga. And he free up minus two. Loves it. How guy's got three up in He's got, he's got, got four, four up in yeah, I think he's failed it, but it's hot yards damage. So oh, one. He's down to seven. Basically, you're not killing him. Yeah. Uh, Mechadendrite Hive's going to do him. <laughs> well, he's got eight wounds, so. I'll get six hits or six attacks. Four up in Vun. Yeah, so you're really failed. Two wounds. Fails one. Oh. It's down to six. And that's it, isn't it? That is it. I got, ain't got any more attacks. So leadership. <sighs> Hero <laughs> cool. Mark Vickery's put, Stephen educates as he destroys you. <laughs> 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 okay, so. Leadership? Um, leadership test. But then they fail. Um, so there's four left. 
say ones and twos, or is it just? Um, it's half. Yeah. So they're they're right there, fine. Cool. So I score fifteen points. You get fifth. Hang on a minute. Right. So let's do Joe's roundup. Joe's going to get fifteen points for banners because he gets three yep. at the end of the turn. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. Yep. Okay. Did you get grind them down? I do. I did, so that means you're going to get up to twelve points on grind them down. So that means Joe is finishing on. What? Does it work out how many points I've dropped? Forty-five. Let Hang on a second. Gets to be in the DJ booth. Oh, <laughs> it's how I do it. <laughs> plus twelve, plus eleven, plus fifteen is 83 Joe finishes on. A massive 83 for the ad mech. I'm happy with that. That's a good score. You should be. Okay, and next up, we've got Jake. So I score 15 points in the primary now because I managed to take them rangers off that objective. <sighs> All right, calm yourself, and son. If, calm if, I'd it. <laughs> if I'd held that... Cut yeah. back. That June crawler back, it would have been all right. Yeah. So Jake has got forty-five and points for the primary. Three points for banners as well at the end. Forty-five points for the primary. He's got engage. Have you get engaged all fronts that turn? No. no. Oh, so you only got seven for engage. Yeah. Oh, it's a wounder. While we stand, we fight. Got ten. Yeah. Okay, and banners. You got another three at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> so <laughs> scores on the doors are forty-five plus ten for battle painted. Oh, yes. <laughs> then you get those points because he didn't paint the army. Oh, Plus, I get those points. No, I get those points. <laughs> Not for the Ultramage, you I don't. I tufted them and I put transfers on them. I used them. Um, <laughs> so you get 55. Stop distracting me. Uh, plus 10 for while we stand, we fight. Takes you to 65. Plus 7 for engage. Plus 14 for banners. Oh, my God. I can't add in my head. So Yeah, I can't. I can't figure it out. I'm all over the place. 86... For the Ultramarines. Oh. 86 oh, for the Ultramarines. Oh. <laughs> no. To be fair, mate, it was that last turn what you told me to do that won it. Yeah, that's my victory. That's literally the, what, what won the game. <laughs> I did it. You did it. I did you it. Won. After that first turn yeah. massacre. See, just by moving that one <laughs> literally that back there. So just to... So whatever anyone said about, obviously they didn't like the catering mm. side. To put in perspective how valuable that information is, that just won me the game. That one thing there that I was about to do, that then Joe very graciously and kindly sportsmanship turned around and said, actually, don't do that and mm. stop being an idiot. And that won me the game. So, yeah. if, so if, if you want an example of what we try to do here, that is a perfect yeah. one. And the thing that lost me that game, because how many points did I lose by? Well, you actually lost by the th the defining moment there. Also, was those aggressors yeah. killing, picking up one ranger. Yeah, that's what the goal was. Because if you didn't do that, if you didn't touch that ranger squad, yeah. then Joe would have got another, or you wouldn't have got a five no, point swing, and Joe would have won. Yeah. So the yeah. combination of Joe telling you to play defense and for your seeing. It. And then also then coming out and killing that ranger unit because you only need to kill one because of coherency. And again, a lot of people don't think about picking off models for yeah. coherency, but that's how it works. Mm. And it is massive to get that 15 points. Otherwise, you'd have just scored 10 yeah. and it oh. wouldn't have happened. So again, what an awesome game, guys. Yeah. That, Real was, nail that, was, that, was, that was my mistake because I, I couldn't get the distance on his advance to get engaged. I should have just left just the left June Crawler there, on yeah. there. Yes, agreed. Yeah. Um, you're going a yeah. bit gung ho there, but no, honestly, like as I said, as an example, like it's it shows the importance of looking at the table, but also like like Jay said, you know, don't just just because it's the last turn, think about that turn five scoring, which I do forget about, mm. and moving out with here, shooting that ranger squad, killing that one model off, have playing defense coming all in. Obviously, if I killed Cool Grind, may have made a difference, but if we look in the the now, this is what's happened and. I didn't. I honestly thought from turn two, it wasn't a game for me. I must admit, Jake, <laughs> I thought you were out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you, um, you held it on. Your defensive play worked well. Um, Which is funny because last time I used this Ultramarine army, if you're part of the Vanguard Tactics Academy, you'll get to see that me and Steve actually played a game in the Academy where what lost me was playing too defensive. And it shows where it's right. And when it's wrong to do so. I, th I think it's, yeah, exactly. And also it depends on the type of player and army you're up against. If you play defensively against me, I'm going to punish you. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, whereas the ad mechs struggle to because they're not very combat based. Whereas if you play real defense on a combat based army, um, then yeah, it's really, really tough. So I think it, it, it does depend on the person you're playing, not only them, but also the type of army that they're using as well. But anyway, I just want to say a massive, man massive thank you to everybody that's donated tonight, guys. Um, £125 been raised. Oh, wow, Absolutely wow. awesome. Wow. So thank you so much for your super chats. It will all be going to Movember along with all the other money of the month. Um, all the ads, everything that we make for YouTube will be going to Movember for the month of February to sort of really help, you know, people that are in a little bit of, you know, dire straits at the moment with lockdowns and all this type of stuff. So, again, please keep yourself safe out there. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next Tuesday for another stream game. And it will probably be myself versus one of these two, maybe. Uh, but again, thank you so much. New battle reports coming out soon as well. And if you haven't checked it out, check out the free masterclass. It's available on the website of Vanguard Tactics. I do a two-hour masterclass. And then there's also a free trial. Ooh. It's just for the masterclass people only. Mm. Little taster. It's not going to be about for long for the Vanguard Tactics Academy to try it out. So, again, thank you so much. Um, Robert's finished this off beautifully and said, moral victory for Team Joe versus an yeah. actual victory for Jake. Yeah. Everybody wins. For t uh, everybody wants a <laughs> Team Joe T-shirt. Yeah, I want it. I think we should do it anyway. There are, some br <laughs> there are two brilliant yeah. designs. Um, there's, there's one with Lilith Hesperex's body <laughs> and my face, or Trajan Valores with my face. I thought, didn't they have the Emperor of my face on it? Yeah, there's you. Yeah, but that doesn't look very good. Yeah. <laughs> you can be, you can be, um, what's his name, Valdor, and I can be um, Malkador. Uh, <laughs> Mark, Mark said, when are we going to see your 30 Banshee army make an appearance, Stephen? Oh, well, do you know what? I've, I've actually got Builder's Block, because mm. building Banshees is... Hard. I, I just can't do it. It's like a mathematical equation I can't figure out. Once they're built and painted, they'll be on like Donkey Kong. Anyway, until next week, take care. See you later. Goodbye.